It's time for Orcs Must Die 3, the third one. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. Consider becoming a channel member. There's also the Patreon option and the Discord for stream alerts. And an Amazon store affiliate link if you're, you know, grab anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Okay, so they... So why is there an upstairs here? Where do they come from? We're doing the endless mode to kind of kickstart things. But, um, yeah, like I finished the game. I actually streamed the whole game. If you want, uh, I guess you would say if you ever need guides or anything on this one, I did actually play through this whole thing, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I love the Orcs Must Die series. It's actually kind of what got me into doing uh, like walkthrough videos was my first kind of successful sort of go at that and uh, yeah it's, it's kind of nice to be here kind of mowing away at this I'm trying to think of my defense setup here so we've got the traps that kind of sent you upwards I'm kind of wondering if we want the spike wall on the side I usually go with the tar pits to kind of burn them but I'm kind of wondering what my vibe was in terms of my setup so I can't have any guardian dudes? Okay, so we got the above things. We've got... Hmm, let me let me take a look at this. Burning feet, barricades, guards. This is like a roof thing. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Because usually, yeah, you use the barricades to kind of like... Funnel them if that makes sense, but uh, it's, it's like the first round, so we're not really too serious off the bat. That works. I think some different things, because there's an achievement for going 25 rounds uh, of this, this endless mode. So let's, yeah, let's let's kind of see what we sort of get here, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's 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 see what we end up with on this one. I'm kind of curious because this is just the first area, right? Then there's there's the down area where they'll come from too. So what is this one? This is the lasers. Oh, okay, it's the laser traps. All right, let's do this. It's the tower defense game. If you're not familiar with Orcs Must Die, so it's like yeah, it's it's a mix of of tower defense. And uh, and you actively being part of it, and you can play it like alone or cooperatively. And we we might join some multiplayer stuff uh, later on. Cause I, I never did the multiplayer stuff. I just kind of always play it solo, so it should be kind of interesting. What was neat? Okay, cause there's there's three of these. So the first horse must die was on 360. It was like one of those arcade games, like the Xbox 360 arcade. And then there was uh, Orcs Must Die 2, which was only on PC. They never released it anywhere else, but that one had co-op, which was kind of cool. I died already? We just started. This is embarrassing. And then this is, uh, they, they did a, what did they call that? They did like a PvP game, which was on PC and, uh... PC and PlayStation only, and they close that. Okay, I'm gonna have to retry this. This was terrible. Yeah, okay, so they, they did it on PC and PlayStation 4 at the time. It was a PvP game. And that they cancelled because it didn't have players, which was a shame because it was actually kind of cool. You were, it was kind of like a MOBA kind of tower defense thing. It was really neat. Tiptoe through the trap field. Yeah, and then eventually, what else do we get? And then Orcs Must Die 3 was a Stadia exclusive, and then the Stadia exclusivity ran out, and it went to other platforms. And now we're finally playing it on Game Pass, so... Kinda cool. Kinda fun. We do a barricade? I feel like we should go for more, like, damage damage right off the bat, eh? So I'm, I'm just trying to get like a good a good feel for these traps. So I, I like archers, but we obviously we're not prepared for archers yet. So we gotta traps, 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 we gotta work traps, to that. Traps, 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 traps. 
I guess we could have two trap areas per thing. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this. Yep. Roll on. Like the order. This is gonna take me a little bit to get into the, the full swing of the setup here. For the horde. Yeah. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They broke Unchained, the yeah. I, I kinda liked Unchained. It was a shame it didn't take off. I kind of compare it to sort of like lawbreakers, but with like a little less uh, industry kind of craze around it, if that makes sense. But it was it was neat, yeah. Unchained was the one that was the sort of multiplayer MOBA type take on the series. Anyways, yeah, big fan of Warriors Must Die. I've I've played all of them. I really hope that someday we get like a remastered collection. Would be really cool, like all. You know, all three games kind of like bundled together would be pretty sweet. I don't think we're ever going to get that, but uh, it would be pretty cool if that was the case. Uh, but for now, I mean, it's eventually they'll probably do like that with PC, right? They'll want to re-release everything. And I'm sure it's a matter of, you know, time and stuff like that. Actually, does the company, are they still like solo in that too? I think that was an issue as well, right? It was the uh, company ownership and stuff too. Anyways, I, I digress. Let's uh, let's focus on this. So I think more by qual. So they're not coming from the other side yet. So we got 2,600 points. Because it's kind of like I'd love to have like a bit of a slow kind of barricade thing here and kind of trap them. See, a lot of this game is about like funneling your enemies, if that makes sense. Like, you funnel them, and you burn them, and you, you slaughter them. This never gets old. That's that's a big part of the game, and it's like, as you go, you have more traps to help you out and stuff like that. This is really quite cool. It's a great game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. What's up? Just, uh, killing orcs. Another door. another door? What other door? What other, what, what do you mean another door? This door? Where are all the enemies coming from? What the freaking, where, what, where is this? That, it didn't say they were coming from that door though. What the heck? All right, well this is a loss. Where, where are they coming from? That door. But it, it didn't show the skull on this door, so I didn't prepare for it because they didn't say they were coming that way. <sighs> it, it's supposed to show a skull that the orcs are coming from that area. Like, it's supposed to show, like, a skull of, of death. Oh, that is so annoying. Sorry, we're gonna have to... we'll, we'll reset this. Okay. Damn it, because it, like, yeah, usually it shows a sign where it's like, they are coming. Is there three doors? Well, this is a teleportation door, so I can get back up here fast. Okay, and then this door. Yeah, because usually it shows, like, a skull thing where it's like, the orcs are coming. There's two doors. Okay, let's, let's try this again. If, if not, I'll switch to a different map, but... I really thought I had a good, uh thing going on there, you know what I mean? Like, I, I thought I kind of had a good good setup. I thought I was kind of being a little kind of clever, but yeah, I guess I was I was wrong. It happens, I suppose. Hmm. That was a little disappointing. <laughs> I should have somebody to do this for me. You know, overly confident is the uh, the phrasing on that one. Okay, so how did we do this? We put a wall trap right Love here, and then we have 300 extra points. All right, let's oh, yeah, good let's do go. this, and then we'll just prepare for that other side this time. That's the thing, is you play cooperatively, and you have multiple people doing things. What do you mean, what is this game about? It's pretty self-explanatory in the title, isn't it? Orcs must die. <laughs> we kill an orcs. It's actually, like, one of my favorite series. We last streamed this, I think it was, I was looking it up because we were going to this. We streamed this in 2021. Uh, we did uh, the stream the whole thing on Xbox. I do also have a walkthrough from when this game was, because yeah, it was, I was telling my story there, it was a Stadia exclusive. But I actually have a walkthrough of the whole game, which is really, really good. It's done, I think, okay for views. I don't know if it was quite worth the time, but... 
Yeah, it was kind of funny. It was uh, Stadia exclusive. That was when Stadia had all this premise where I was like, ooh, they're doing all these cool series I like. And then, so. yeah, it kind of died. Yeah, that's basically a tower defense game. But let's not trivialize it. It's so much cooler than that. I'm just kind of surprised that it never got, like, a deal with uh, with Xbox for their other titles, because it was such a... I thought it was, like, a pretty big thing for Xbox on the 360 arcade when it came out, but... Yes, I was wrong. Okay, so we... See, this is really hard, because this is, like, a straightaway, right? Like, they, they come here pretty fast, so you got to really slow them down a bit. But we don't exactly have the budget to, like, slow them down, if that makes sense, right? Like, it's it's kind of a really, really low budget off the bat. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Why did they come that way? I was going to put it in the middle. When am I, not and I, I guess, yeah, it's got co-op, so I mean, if you guys have this, I guess you can jump in. I mean, it's on Game Pass, so it's great, so yeah. And I love how with this, you know what's also really cool about this series is there's an actual like sense of progression, like your main character is like young in the first one, and now he's like, you know, he gets slightly older and he's like this old dude in this. It's kind of funny. He's got like gray hair and stuff. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's kill some orcs. This is kind of a hard level to start on, honestly. So they're already going to be coming from both sides, and we just started. I'm wondering if I should, like, beef up my middle defenses. Because I'm like, now they're going to be coming from both sides, or are they coming from the top this time? It's, it's so, like, tight here, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... There's just not a lot of, not a lot of room to work. Where are they coming from down here again? Oh man, they are here fast. They are here too quickly. I need more time. I got it for now. Are they coming from the other side too, or no? Yeah, my defenses are like, they're getting the job done, but they're pretty inadequate. Because I'm like, it's going to be hard for me to cover both sides, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe if I can slow them down in the top area, but also slow them down at the middle, like a bit of a pincher move, it might be like my best strategy for this one. I'm thinking, it's like, yeah, the, the lot of this game is like barricade control. Like, how you can kind of force the orcs to move in ways that are, like, beneficial hey, for you it. to kill them. And by we, I mean me. Yeah. Nice. You don't care for tower defense? Oh, that's sad. Tower defense could be a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. So are they coming from the top now and we get a break on the bottom floor? Is that how this is? <gasps> Ooh. Don't mind if I grab that. So yeah, now they're coming from the top, but it's like I really want to center my points around this area and make like a bit of a choke type of point, eh? Hello, old trap buddy. The other thing too is that they break the barricades, which happens, right? I am just so ready. I kind of feel like I should put my money into just the bottom area almost. Like, just in the middle there. Hi, right, folks. It looks like fun. It's it's a really, really enjoyable series. I love it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite little franchises. Final Fantasy Pixels? Pixel Remasters. 
I always wanted to play those. They were just never on platforms or anything. Does anyone know what, like, Emerald Saga is? I was looking at that one. It's coming to everything but Xbox, but I'm like, I've never heard of the series before. It's something like Emerald Saga. It's, uh, it's a Square Enix series. So maybe we'll cover that when it comes to, like, PlayStation. I'm trying to cover more PlayStation stuff. Yeah. See what I'm saying, though, is we can kind of funnel them and uh, just sort of slaughter them a lot more effectively. But the only problem with funneling them here is if they do break through, uh, there's like a very short time span to where our base is, right? So it's kind of like... It's a little dangerous to, to funnel them so close to the base. Oh, they're coming from the bottom again? Okay. All right, let's do it. Tell you the truth, I don't get enough time between rounds to do stuff. It's like really intensive. You don't know what tower defense is? Oh, well you uh, defend a central point while enemies come and you use uh, traps and other defenses to uh, stop them. Yeah. Basically what the tower defense genre is. It's a strategy genre, essentially, yeah. Do they have any bigger ones? 60, probably a 60 FPS franchise? Okay, that's kind of funny. It's like Fortnite in the medieval era? Oh, come on, this series is way older than Fortnite is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> way older than Fortnite. I like it when the orcs just walk straight into them. <sighs> it's just so pretty. Nah, that's not very effective. I want to slow them down. That works. See, and they give you outlines of where the guys go too, so you can kind of get an idea of where they're headed. Traps go up, orcs go down. They're coming from both ways this time. Orcs gotta die. Yeah, it's a, it's a great series. You seen the Saga games? They're supposed to be really good. Yeah, I never saw it before, and it's in one of my portals. I gotta like, it's it's pretty terrible, but I have to keep up with like twenty different like, I think I'm at twenty five different press portals for like codes and getting access to stuff. Not to mention all the emailing I have to do and then business stuff. And, man, am I tired? Uh, yeah, and it's like, I just saw it pop up today, I was like, Emerald Saw, guys, like, I have never heard of this, but I was like, it looks kind of neat. Is that it? For a split second, I thought about maybe... Uh, can't keep casting forever. They are just coming, eh? I'm, I'm kind of a little worried about my defenses. I got a good setup here, but... Yeah, and you can, like, spend all day, like, watching, like, different strategies that people deploy against the, the orcs and stuff. There's actually quite a few different setups and things people use to most effectively uh, defend the areas. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't know if we're too early for this, but I want to get some archers going because I, I love using uh, like my defensive things, like you can have archers and stuff and they will like shoot and kill things for you, so they're usually a big help for me. Honestly, just like a huge help. I don't know if I want another arrow wall right there. I'm just trying to think of like the best placement for like them because we could put another set of arrows right right here it would be pretty good but then they tend to just block each other off if that makes sense uh, kind of wondering where we should start barricading again because again the the whole point of this game is just to like slowly funnel them as best as you can 
if that makes sense. And you just, like, you lead them through traps and you just execute all of the orcs. Oh, and I got more money, okay. I like this setup. I'm I'm kind of confident about it. It's it's pretty decent, I think. Like good burn, good cut. Yeah, I think this is good. Played hell divers. Yeah, we streamed hell divers and stuff. Uh, it's not quite like horde mode. Horde mode is a little little different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first game is really cool. The third one is a a big, big evolution upon uh, the other existing ones. It, it does some really cool stuff. Huge battles like. This is one of the more traditional levels, but there's some, like, levels in the campaign where you do, like, these massive horde battles that are really, really cool. I keep forgetting that I need to go and collect, like, uh, spell points from other things that I didn't grab. I can't get too distracted, because, like, one side will be fine, and then they'll, like, slip through on another side. Nobody likes that. Yeah, I need to start building a longer tunnel on that side, because otherwise they're just going to pour in and just smoke me. I basically, I'm killing, like, creating, like, a kill net, if that makes sense. Like, they just come in and just be, like, peppered. But, like, I do sort of want to slow them down on the upper L level, if that makes sense. Because they are, they move in, like, really fast. So this works, right? Like, they don't... Can they actually path this way? Because I'm like, you can't stop them with the barricades, if that makes sense. Like, you want them to still... Oh, no, they go... Okay, good. Because you don't want to want them to stop, because then they break your barricades. And then it's just a waste of money. So... You gotta kind of be strategic. So these guys are coming in a little fast for my liking over here. If that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to like, or to slow them down a little bit. Because yeah, the idea is you slow them there and then on this side, it's, yeah, it's the whole thing. I'm, I'm, I'm deploying strategy here. Yeah. Well, Horde Mode was kind of the big starting for Horde Mode, that's why it's called Horde Mode, is because of that. But this is Tower Defense, which is a little... it's a, it's a different thing from Horde Mode, it's, it's not quite the same. Yeah. Whoa, I totally forgot about you, Null Hunters. The Null Hunters are scary. Yeah. Killing Floor 2. Killing Floor 2 is a lot of fun. Killing Floor 3 is coming out! I keep forgetting that. This, this should be this year, right? Killing Floor 3? Really excited about that. All those stupid kobold runners are annoying as hell. So yeah, it's uh, slowing them down very effectively over there, which I love. That was my idea on that one. I just need to set up some traps over there to get them. These stupid null hunters are so goddamn annoying because they just go like over all of your traps and stuff, and they just like run right by things. That's me crazy. Anyways, this is a phenomenal series. I have a lot of fun playing this stuff. I think they're great tower defense games. Very, very well done. Always love this series. Oh, the, the, the stupid da giant troll dudes. And then there's different barricades. Like, this game really got a lot more intricate with its, like, enemies, because different enemies, like, are affected by different things, and... Yeah, some of the big troll guys are, like, a real problem, because they just, like, eat damage like crazy, and they just don't even care. It's really annoying. Yeah. But Killing Floor 3 should be fun this year. What else was there where something they were looking at? Uh, Made a Skier, which is, like, a, it's like a Zombies-type cooperative game coming out this week, which I was kind of looking at. That one looks fun. Stop destroying my barricades, you sons of, uh... Stop it! Stop breaking my goddamn barricades! That's like, okay, these barricades are super expensive. Stop destroying them. Look at this fucking thing. This is taking. Ugh. How many? It destroyed two barricades. That's so expensive. Ugh. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little annoying, is what that is. That is a little annoying. Okay. Yeah, I don't.
don't like that one bit that those things come up here so fast and attack my barricades. Where were you, archers? What were you doing up there? Not archering, that's for sure. Okay, so this setup is pretty good. Hmm. I'm gonna work more on this part here. Ah, right, here we go. I like I, I I'm kind of confident in my More design here. Like I'm I'm sort of confident in it. And I totally was distracted and forgot to tell you guys to like the stream, subscribe, and great donations. Cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. There's also the Amazon store affiliate link. Grab anything on Amazon. Use the link in the video description. And GamerHeadquarters.com, I write stuff on my site sometimes. Man, I got distracted today. So distracted. You're a tough ogre, aren't you? Oh, the Grenadiers. No, get out of here. Yeah, they got a real bad attitude, these guys, eh? As long as those trolls don't come and destroy all my barricades, we're pretty good. I, I think we're doing pretty well. Am I doing a Manor Lords video? Um, That's on PC only, right? Is, is that like a new PC release? I, I, I might be. I, I don't know yet. There's, a, there's other larger stuff that I'm doing, if that makes sense. Mr. Moneybags? Where's Mr. Moneybags? Do you guys see Mr. Moneybags? I don't see him. Or did I kill Mr. Moneybag? Brings you good money, which is why he's important, but uh We'll we'll see if Manor Lords fits. There's there's a lot going on right now. I'm kinda of focusing on a lot more PlayStation stuff at the moment, because my PlayStation videos are like uh, a lot bigger than the Xbox stuff by a lot. So I'm kinda trying to do more there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do this and this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you guys come from? Holy. Alrighty, that's a little surprising that I was getting stormed like that. Okay. That was a bit of a shocker on that one. I think actually doing the arrows there might be effective. I got killed? What? No way. That's a little bit of a shocker. I can't believe they got me. Those stupid gnolls, man. They always... They're the ones that get you in this game. Honestly, this is always the gnoll hunters because they like evade all your traps and they go right for you. Kind of annoying. Botany Manor? Botany Manor looked really cool, but I didn't know how popular that one would be for a video. Yeah, does this game have matchmaking? Uh, I don't know specifically matchmaking, but you can look at lobbies to join, I think. Where you can invite people and stuff. Like, it is co-op focused, this game. It is uh, the most co-op focused out of all of them. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Hello, old trap buddy. Yeah, a lot of works to kill. Found a good spot. Okay, I'm gonna put some more on this side. Like you gotta. You gotta go back and forth, you know what I mean? You gotta, like, put traps on one side, put traps on the... Because it's about balance in your setup. I'm trying to get to wave 25 for an achievement in this, so we'll see how that goes. Killing floor way. 1 and 2. I like killing floor 1 a lot, but I think that one's kind of been lost to time, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, we did do... What did we do for... Yes, today I, I kind of, like, I was expecting to get grounded on PlayStation, but Xbox didn't send grounded codes out yet. I was like, the fuck? And then I was supposed to do a Minecraft... Uh, did they destroy my barricade? What the heck? How did they... Ugh, anyways. 
I was supposed to do Minecraft Kung Fu Panda, but the Minecraft store and the Microsoft store was kind of like broken today, so I didn't get to do that. Which was a piss off, because I actually had the day available to do that. So thanks, Microsoft, for double dropping the ball today. <laughs> and there's all this other stuff going on, and it was, ugh, oh, man, so annoying, honestly. So annoying. I was like, do these Microsoft products ever work? And I was like, nah, they're Microsoft products. Microsoft software is buggy software. So why did my barricade down there get destroyed? I'm a little surprised. I don't know if I want to, or can afford to replace it either. I'm trying to think of my setup here. Yeah, it's, it, they just kind of, like, Xbox just screwed my day today. I was like, are you kidding me, man? I was like, ah, oh, no surprise. <laughs> it's like, this, like, seriously, it's like, sometimes I sit there, I was like, do these Microsoft products, like, ever work correctly? It is, like, a legitimate question sometimes, and I'm just like, ugh. I'll just make a kill area there for them, and we'll do some more on this side, too. I got, the blood I got some plans for some more barricades along this area, but obviously we're not quite there yet for design, right? For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Well, look how cocky this guy is, too. This character is my favorite. I, I was kind of disappointed he wasn't in a big chunk of this. Like, you actually gotta, like, earn him. That makes sense. I just love this guy's like style and attitude. Hmm. I I think I got a good setup going on here. I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm pretty confident in this. How was my day? Xbox is literally an L factory. They seriously are. I've lost complete faith in the brand for them to like accomplish anything. Just just uh yeah. Honestly, I, I've just completely given up. <laughs> I can't do anything right, it feels like, these days. Um, yeah, I was, like I said, I, I was trying to get all this work done. I had all these, like, delays on stuff and all this other stuff I had to do. I went and saw Mitchell there, his uh, friend of the channel. If you guys don't know Mitchell, is he finished his world's longest hockey game today. So he was skating for, I think it was... It was 262 hours, so he just finished that today. And they had, like, the longest speech. I was just like, what is going on here? Because, you know, afterward they do the celebration. They gotta have, like, the Guinness people, and they... You know, they do, like, oh, thank you for these people, thank you for these people. It took, like, an hour, I think over an hour for them to do the, like, after stuff. And it was just, like, holy, it's like, these guys have been skating for, like, it was, like, 11 days or something like that. And it's just, like... You can tell they're just dying out there, and these people are just, like, mowing on and on. They had, like, the mayor of the city out there, or the, the chest mirror people, and he was just, like, rawr, rawr, just mumbling into the microphone for, like, five, ten minutes. Couldn't understand a word he was saying, and I was just thinking, I was like, man, I can't wait to annex these guys. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, congratulations to Mitchell for his thing. They raised, uh, 1.4 million for the children's hospital and children's uh, cancer research and stuff so that's uh, you know a round of applause for that effort obviously and uh yeah i'll be getting some rest and enjoying a beer i think he said he was gonna go have a beer and i was like yep you earned it man <laughs> you earned it <laughs> i was like yeah uh, anyways, that was that's kind of kind of what I did as I spent a bit of the day out there and uh, just just watching the finale kind of thing because they do like a big build up and then yeah it's a whole thing so that was fun uh, filmed some videos Ugh, not much else other than that that was basically my day was just spent kind of doing that sort of thing if that makes sense. Oh man, these stupid null hunters are a piss off. Ooh, there's points over here. So yeah, no seriously, it was utterly ridiculous. He just like bumbled. You couldn't even understand him for like literally five plus minutes. And like there were so many people that were doing speeches and it's like 
like it's great that you guys were a part of this and stuff, but it is, you know, the players have been working for 11 days, you know, just Not even close. at least give them some chairs or something, friggin' hell. I was getting bored. I was just like, come on, you know, it's, it's like, great, we're all patting ourselves on the back and stuff, but like, damn. But they raise a lot of money, and that's that's what's mad. That's what matters. A million, yeah, one one point four million dollars for, for skating around for like eleven days and stuff. El Diablo a drink tequila, good for you. KF one, Killing Floor one. So that's the thing is, I I never I like uh, I heard Killing Floor one was like just dead. Like I don't think anybody played it anymore. But I remember having like quite a bit of fun on the PC of that one back in the day, right? I do think Killing Floor two offers like a lot more, and they've got lots of stuff going on, but. There is something about the first Killing Floor that's kind of cool and sort of grungy, and uh, it's, it's neat. Ah, uh, look at that chaotic death trap clusterfuck. I would not want to be an orc coming into this domain, am I right? Ah, these stupid gnolls. Ow! He almost killed me. He almost killed me. World's longest Fortnite match? Yeah, that'd be fun. Fortnite for days and days and days. I'm sure there's some kind of record thing for that. I don't know. Don't know what else I do. This is mostly a day where it's just kind of like a lot of stuff didn't really work out, and then I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go see Mitch's conclusion thing. And it was like cold and stormy. We went from like a super beautiful sunny day. I don't know if you saw my photos, but gorgeous day yesterday. I went to the Griffith Woods. It was, it was beautiful out. And then today it was like, I mean, it's still like one degree or whatever, but it was like snowstorm and stuff. And I was just like, ugh, the weather. The weather. And of course, there's like no parking, so I had to like walk for like. 10 minutes to get there or something. It's ridiculous. Alright, there we go. But anyways, it was a good cause. They raised lots of money. That's what's important. wonder who won the 50-50. It was a 50-50 I put money into, and I was like, ooh. I think you win like 50k on the 50-50? I was like, oof, that'd be nice. Ooh, do they have any more of those? There's more enemies? Oh, I thought the round was done. Maybe it's like a new round. Oh, they're sending the suicide bombers? Fuck right off. No way. Of course. You gotta keep you on your toes, you know, you get too good of a setup going on. They, they don't like it. I'll have to remember to fix that. Of course they'd send the suicide bombers. That's the other, that's the number one killer of like, uh, your defenses are the stupid suicide bombers. They destroy your barricades and they just like, and the enemies just sneak right through and it's over. I need to set up some better traps to kind of get those guys before they get to my barricades. But I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. If they get there, they get there, right? Oh, really? They're sending the Null Hunter guys too? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Not the Null Hunter dudes. I hate the Null. Or, not, sorry, they're not Null Hunters. The trolls. The trolls are so bloody annoying. You watched my Star Wars video today? Oh, the Star Wars Rebel one? Yeah, that game was kinda neat. But, like I said, I was planning on doing Grounded today, but Microsoft never sent the review codes for it. I was like, alright, well, I'll pop up a new PS Plus game. Tomorrow we got Alone in the Dark, which I think you guys will actually kind of like. Not the new one, but, like, they released this PlayStation every every 15th. They release classics, so it's like Alone in the Dark from the PS1. It's actually really good. Fuck right off. No freaking way. No freaking way, dude. Ah, oh, 
I'll have to fix that later. Uh... What barricade did they destroy now? They need to stop breaking my barricades, and you need to sit there and like the stream. Subscribing's great donations, cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted. The Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. Also, the Amazon store affiliate link. If you're buying anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Yeah. Sorry, it gets really intense. So sometimes you gotta, like, focus on what's going on here. It gets annoying when they blow up your barricades. Pretty happy with that. I don't know if this was my barricade setup. Was It was. Okay. The barricade is under attack. What barricade is under attack? Barricade is down. What barricade is down? Who's destroying my barricades? Whoa, 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 who snuck behind? Where did he go? There's a guy that got behind me. For a split second, I thought <sighs> possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Well, there goes my flawless run. Where did that guy come from? He went through all my, like, trap back here? Oh, so he destroyed this barricade and then just ran right by? Okay. That's kind of annoying. How the hell did he manage that? Hello, old trap buddy. That's actually, like, genuinely surprising that he was able to do that. I'm gonna set up some more spike traps just so that, like, I have a chance of maybe catching the suicide ones before they get here. Yeah, it's, it's not the best of designs, but, like, you know, there's... I don't really have to... Oh, come on! They're coming down. <sighs> Just a momentary pause for the cause. It's another problem, too, with this game. It's go, 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 go. Next thing you know, your whole afternoon's gone. Who's attacking my barricade? Tell them to stop attacking my barricade. Leave barricade alone. That got the blood pumping. I'm decently confident though, like six more waves. I think I got this. I, I think I gotta get this achievement. The magic's not really flowing right now. That's what she said. No chance of that. What barricade's under attack? Stay away from my barricade. That's what I'm saying is like they'll attack your barricade if they think that it's like in their path, if that makes sense. Like they're programmed to kind of destroy it if it's blocking their progression. They're not supposed to technically, but if it does block them, they will destroy things. I need more mana. I need more time. There's just gonna be more of them coming? More enemies on the way. I didn't even get like a two second break? This is ridiculous. I did it. Oh, come on. Uh, yep. Time sensitive quest? How am I doing tonight? I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm having, I'm like really stressed today because there's stuff that didn't go through that was supposed to go through, and there's a lot going on. Yeah, I'm tired from other stuff. I'm, I'm mostly exhausted, but I'm in good spirits. I'm killing orcs and stuff. I'm, I'm having a good time. I can't say things are bad. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just things did not go according to plan today, and it was frustrating. But yeah. Mr. Money Banks. Do they have any bigger ones? 
I think this setup is actually pretty killer. Like, orcs are dying, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's the goal, right? To kill the orcs. Okay, at least get, like, a spike trap here. Thank you very much. Oh, how are you doing all right? See, look, like, arrows, my archers aren't really doing a very effective job up there. Usually I do a very archer-focused thing, because I, I use the archers as a bit of a fallback a thing, but... Yeah, the archers, they, they really weren't doing much killing for me, to be honest. A bit of a shame, okay. More enemies on the way. Yeah. Spider-Man 2 in theaters? Yeah, they had Spider-Man 1 in theaters here, but it was, like, sold out. They don't, they have only, like, one, two showings where I live, and I'm just kind of like, oh. I don't want to have to fight people to get Man, seats for Spider-Man 2. Like, I, I'd like, I think Spider-Man 2, I would like to go on Monday to go watch that one in theaters. But, like, I have to drive all the way across the city at night, and it might be sold out. And it's just kind of like, I think Sony did a very bad job with their distribution of the classic Spider-Man movies, because it's just like, they are so hard to go and watch, if that makes sense. Like, they've made them difficult to attend the screenings, which is disappointing. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure things will get easier. Life is ups and downs, you just run all along for the ride. Stupid bombs blowing up my barricades. Oh, come on. <sighs> Good workout. They're just coming again? More enemies on the way. I don't get, like, a break or anything? Hi, arrow walls, cut them down. Kill me some ogres, I guess. I only got three more waves to go, and I got this achievement. Holy. Oh, we did, uh, Modern Warfare was a lot of fun yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but we streamed the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. I've been doing all the COD campaigns. Head of the Game Pass drop, because Game Pass were obviously going to be, you know, too busy doing multiplayer stuff, so... I'm going to get the campaigns out of the way now. We've been working all the way through. We've got, two, uh, Call of Duty 2 up till Modern Warfare 2 done now. Ooh, and Black Ops will be next. I think this side in particular, I've got a great thing going on over there, like down that hallway. I think this hallway is perfect. I think it's the other hallway down to my right that I need like a deeper, like I need a better setup here, if that makes sense. Like I need to like slow them down a bit. I'm gonna destroy these traps and kind of funnel them down this way, honestly. Just trying to slow him down, that's the biggest thing. Like, your biggest assist in this game is, like, time. I need more time. Time off and you're sick? Oh, that does suck. Stop destroying my barricades. These things really, and then he destroys me instead. I was on like an 80. Well, I am on an 80 kill streak, 86 kill streak. Okay, let's do this. Ah, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. I hope it gives me like a break round though soon, so that I can like, you know, set up some barricades properly. I haven't been able to do any barricade setups for a bit. The other problem too is you want to space out your barricades. Like honestly, it's poor form for me to have barricades so tightly put together like this, like wall things. Well, no, the barricades are really, really good. It's the uh, it's the positioning of my traps, like my wall arrows and stuff, that is not very good. That's where the poor form comes from, is the uh, the wall stuff that I've set up here. 
Because it's like, you shouldn't put it so closely together, but I've, I've got a good enough setup going on that it's not a big deal, but it is kind of like, you know. I'm on wave 24, I haven't had like a break wave in like freaking... I actually don't even know when was the last time I had a break wave where it actually gave me time to like set up my stuff. Good workout. <sighs> yeah. The Fable game? Yeah, Fable's still working. You should see uh, actual like gameplay gameplay of Fable this year, and I'm thinking at least a release window too. Uh, at Xbox is a bad. We'll have a... We'll, we'll do a pre-Xbox showcase chat video again like we always do, and we'll go over everything to expect. But yeah, Fable gameplay, we, we should be seeing that and some sort of release window on it this year. Yeah. Well, being sick isn't fun, but it does build your immune system. At least that's how I look at it. <laughs> I don't get my break wave again? Holy, this this game's running me ragged here. Holy. I should have somebody to do this for. At least I get the achievement after this round. Assuming I don't somehow blow it. What barricade did they destroy? Up here or down there? <gasps> really? Oh my god, you know how expensive these barricades are? I think they're actually cheaper for me because I have some kind of like perk thing or something. It's not the point though, I don't like my barricades getting destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, no, Orcsman's Die really is like its own kind of take on tower defense. It's just perfect gameplay, honestly. Good amount of challenge, a good amount of style. I love it. Yeah, I gotta rebuild my barricade down here. Which one was it? This one. Actually, they destroyed a few barricades. Which is kind of bloody annoying. I wonder if I can actually awkwardly funnel them around that way. Can they go away around this way? That was me that did that thing there. Oh, they could. Okay, well, let's not allow that to ever happen. Maybe that's how that one guy got through. No, oh, that's actually the closest they've ever gotten here. I think that should be an achievement, right? Is that going to be too tight? That might actually be too tight for them. What barricade did they destroy now? Stop destroying my barricades. Yeah, I could have sworn the achievement. Maybe it pops at the end of it. It's supposed to be 25 ways of endless, isn't it? Survive 25 ways of endless in a single match. Oh, wave 26. I guess we'll just keep going. Or is that like you not dying in 26 waves? Is that you not dying in 25 waves? Because that would be a pretty crappy achievement if that's the case. I did it my way. Oh, that's funny. I did it my way. <gasps> he got in. My defenses are faltering because of these fucking null hunters. Oh, that'd be so annoying if the achievement was literally don't die throughout 25 waves. Because that is kind of how that reads. I assumed it was just kind of like, you know, win 25 waves and we're on wave 26. Uh, hey, they call that a sucks to suck scenario is what that is. Guess it doesn't matter, they're actually breaking through my defenses this time. 
going on? Oh, I see what's happening. All my barricades. Did they send suicide guys? Like, where are all my barricades? I was like, how are these orcs getting through? And it's like, oh, or sorry, these ogres. But I'm like, oh, we don't have any defensive traps set up. That would explain it. Found a good spot. See, like, yeah, they destroyed, like, all the freaking barricades. So no wonder they're just, like, walking. They're, like, literally just waltzing right in here. Yeah. Man, it's running Sonic out. character? Are you talking about Shadow the Hedgehog? That's Sonic character. Jeez. If you need to start doubling up on the barricade, that's a thing too with strategies, like barricade doubling. My defenses are faltering. So that side is good. It's the side on my right. The narrower hallway is where I'm having issues. These stupid grenadier freaking mouths, man. A little harder to bounce back in my advanced age. You're at advanced age. He even knows he's getting older? Okay, that's kinda of funny. Is under attack. Stop attacking my barricades, you fuckers. Who's got mana this bear? I okay. He's going in. Just a momentary pause for the call. My defense is falling apart. Mostly because they've somehow found a way to destroy my barricades. Oh, how many ogres are there? Shrek has multiplied. He's become too dangerous. Yeah, I might need to start doubling up on my freaking defenses, is what this is telling me. Dang it. Ugh. That Everybody's that surviving 25 waves. But that's what I'm saying, is it like, surviving as in like, I don't die a single time? Or is it surviving as in, you like, beat 25 waves? Yeah, that's that's what I was wondering. That's fucking annoying. New Sonic game coming? Ah, uh, there's lots of different Sonic games coming, but there's a the Sonic movie is coming. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is coming out this year, and it's got Shadow. There's Keanu Reeves, which is pretty cool. I'd say that actually works pretty well. I'm excited. I I don't think the Sonic movies are like critically critically acclaimed darlings or anything, but I enjoy them. A lot of works. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this, guys. It's like, the barricades are a big thing that keep me, like, alive, and it's like, they are just destroying all of my barricades. I think I've done pretty admirably, but... Yeah, they're just walking in here. They're waltzing in like they own the place, and I don't like it. Yeah, I'm all wrapped up on the Suicide Squad until they drop that bad boy in the game pass, which I think is inevitable. I also heard that liking the stream was inevitable. Wow, he just slapped me right down there. Uh, subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted. Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and okay times. There's also an Amazon Surfly link if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm doomed. I, I can't. I don't have the money to reset up my uh, barricades. Yeah, they've, they've destroyed me. 
Too much barricade damage. I, I can't recover from this. Oh yeah, the Amazon surf lately, because someone was asking about that. Uh, you just click the link and buy something, and I don't know, I think it works for some set of days or something, and yeah. So if you're gonna go buy something special on Amazon, just click the link and then go buy whatever. Seriously. It's that easy. We have to do Suicide Squad if they add it to Game Pass. The people want to know. But yeah, that game was pretty bad. I just, I can't stop them anymore. I don't have the money. It just, just keeps sending them after me. It doesn't give me any break waves. Oh, Sonic X Generations? That's not really a new game. Uh, Sonic X Gen or Sonic Generations or Sonic X Shadow Generations? Yeah, they're, they're just taking Sonic Generations, remastering it, and like adding shadow levels. It's not, it's not a new Sonic game, really. I mean, I guess you could call it that, but it's not. There's other new Sonic games coming out this year, but they're like mobile things. I've given up. They, they, they got me. Round 30's not bad, but like, yeah. My defense is faltered. Oh, they just cut me down, dude. Okay, one second. I wanna look up true achievements for this. Ugh, oh, look at them go in. I, t I did my best. Ugh. I mean, they were gonna win eventually, right? It's endless mode. I did get the achievement, okay. Nice! Okay, so there we go. Because I was wondering, and I did get it. Alright, good. Yay! Buy upgrades in the spell book. I need more upgrades. Bank of archers? Oh, that's the group of archers, right? If you do the big thing. I have 26 skulls. Elven swords, Overlord blade staff. Is that what I use? The Overlord blade staff, or do I just I just use a blade staff? Because obviously you should upgrade all of your specific things that you use. Giant killer beehive tree. Okay, that's freaking hilarious. I've never unlocked some of this stuff. Oh wow. Why not? Jar of ghosts. What? What is a jar of ghosts? Equipment causes enemies that hit the player to run away. <laughs> a jar of ghosts? A priestess? Oh, war scenarios only, okay. Oh yeah, and the knights are for war scenarios only too. God, that's funny. A jar of ghosts. <laughs> Nothing like just living your life and the freaking ghosts come after you. Okay, so we did. That was intense. Oh, there are all achievements unlocked achievement? That's lame. Acquire every item in the game. That's hard. Five skulls on every story level? Piss off. Upgrade. Unlock all upgrades for a single trap. Well, that one's pretty easy. Uh, what else could we get? Any weekly challenge. Okay. What's Scramble? I don't remember Scramble. Scramble, is that a DLC achievement? Alright, well we can look at Scramble. I, th I think it might be DLC though. Alright, so first off... Wait, what did I just read? So one Scramble, what was the other one? Oh, a weekly challenge. So unlock every upgrade? Oh, that was easy. Why didn't I get that prior? There we go, 10 gamer score. Pfft, easy. That was... That was intense, so hey, Bert. I just, I'm gonna take a, a second breather here. I did, I got my achievement, yeah. Sonic, yeah, Sonic Generations is like the best Sonic game, right? In a long, long, long time, but it already runs at 4K 60 on Xbox, so it's not like it's gonna be any better, right? Yeah. 
Like, I killed 26,000 orcs. More Suicide Squad? I bet you'd like that. Oh, it even tells you your favorite trap is this. Mine's the spike trap. That's kind of funny. Alright, so we gotta do a weekly challenge. Kaboom Town. Okay, is there any other challenges, or is it just this one? Are these all weekly challenges? Your health will be constantly draining, but killing enemies will randomly yield health potions? You start with no rune coin for placing traps. The only coin you earn is from the enemies you kill. No war machines. Your loadout is full of damage traps, but they are all unupgraded. Finding the right spot to maximize your kill box is key. These are hard challenges. Holy crap. Your mana does not regenerate, but defeating small enemies can drop mana potions. Scenario can only be played for practice? What does that mean? Oh, so there's only one weekly challenge. I thought there was multiple weekly challenges. Okay, so we just have one. If a minion goes boom, it's coming for you. All right, let's do it. The blunderbuss has upgraded capacity. Ready as always. We have like limited defensive things. Okay, we only have to survive five waves though, so. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. The door is down. Suicide drones. I need more time. Where is oh the rift is right here? Oh, we're gonna have to restart this, I think. I uh wasn't expecting the rift to be like Right here. Enemies of the rift. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so how do these guys get here? They come from that door and they come up this way. Uh huh. Alrighty, so we need to build I don't have barricades. What does this do? I don't even know what this plant does. Does it shoot them? Does it eat them? I, I don't even know what some of these traps are. Okay. This is actually like kind of a hard level. So... Huh. Surprise them. Yeah, I, I don't know how this is gonna work for me, honestly. I love traps. So do I. I love traps no too. Place than this. They really grind up the orcs nicely. Hmm, okay, so that's pretty good. And we don't have barricades. A lot of my strategy revolves around barricade usage, so um yeah, now let's see how that time. works. A Garden Warfare game like this? Oh, that would be so fun. They do have Horde mode in, in Garden Warfare, or used to. Season 2 is Mr. Freeze's daughter? Why? Yeah, I don't... I don't think I... I already have uh, Suicide Squad uninstalled. I don't... I don't want to play that again. Like, I'll play it when they add it to Game Pass. But, like... I don't think I play any more seasons of that. I, I think that game will. I think they'll stop updating it after the second season. Big or small, I can take them all down. I think she's too cocky, guys. Too cocky. Okay, what does the plant do? Hey, Apparently it doesn't protect me from getting destroyed. Can't keep me down. 
What does the plant do? Seriously, I'm so confused. Does the plant actually do anything? I came in like a wrecking ball. It's this side that's gonna be a lot of problems though. I don't have any barricades for slowing down enemies. And they are just gonna come so hard and so fast this way, it's gonna be unreal. Alright, let's do this! No, they're not coming out this side this time? Oh. What side are they coming out of? Oh, I see. They're coming out of the other side there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I know. How are you guys doing? Everybody's having a lovely, lovely day and stuff. I don't know. I'm just kind of tired. I'm so tired this week. Weekend was dreary. This week I'm tired. I think tomorrow we're going to do NHL because they added it to Game Pass. I've never done a second NHL stream in a year, so I'm wondering if the Game Pass effect of it is a thing for streaming, so we're going to test it out. I forgot about the Ember Sparks, those are enemies. EA Sports, it's in the game. Yeah, <laughs> tell your friends that you can't because they're already dead. Ah, she's fun. I, I like this protagonist, actually. Alright, so I'm assuming, yeah, they're going to start coming out of this side again. So it's like this, this is so tight, there's like... There's like no slowdown or anything. They just, they'll just storm right through here. Yeah, no slowdown at all. That was a good throw. Is this game any good? Yeah, I highly okay. recommend it. That last thing didn't work. Enemies at the rift. It's one of my favorite long-term series. I've I've liked it since the first one on the 360. It's really great. If you like tower defense, it's one of the best. No, we don't. They're like right on the line. Their love will be on time. Seriously, there's like, there's no like really defensive areas I can set up for the spot. They just like come in. Tell your friends. Oh, wait, you can't because you're dead. <laughs> She's kind of snarky. Are they? I thought I did a pretty good job of holding the line. What's my go-to Xbox controller? Uh, I, I use the Hex Gaming controller. Yeah, they sent me a really nice customized one. It's all chrome. There's a review of it up on the channel. I really like it. I'm also repping the, the Turtle Beach Stealth Pro controller. I have a review ready-ish but I haven't released it yet, but it's coming. Very, very good controller. Yeah, I just haven't had any time to get it. Like, it's filmed, if that makes sense. I just have to edit the video. There is like, ugh, it's so tight that they come out of the front area like that. It's like there's no room for traps or anything to stop them. Confusion flower shoots seed pod that releases cloud causing confusion. Aye, that would be a good one. A hint? I'm a young streamer? Dude, I've been doing this for a long time. I don't need any sort of tips or anything, but thank you. I'm not even young. 
And like, honestly, I'll interact with the audience as much as I want to. If anything, I actually think I interact with the audience too much sometimes. God, are people never satisfied? It fucking kills me. I need a bigger challenge. <sighs> there are enemies in our They're coming! I need to regenerate mana. Stop coming into the rift! I only need to survive one more wave for this achievement challenge. Get out of here! Leave me alone! Go away! Enemies at the rift! Slow him down! Slow him down! They're almost there. Kill him! Another win! Du, 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 du. I got it! I ignore non-paying subs. Fuck right off. <laughs> like, seriously. Oh my god. Do we need to go to how many, like, questions I answered in a year? They don't tell us this anymore, but the one year... I think it was, like, three years ago, I answered, like, 18,000 comments on YouTube. So I, I interact with people enough. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, honestly, like, what more do you want from me? Holy. Okay. What was the other one I wanted? Okay, sc scramble. Complete tier 2 in scramble, tier 5 in scramble. Reroll a debuff in scramble. Score 5 million on an endless scenario? Holy crap, that's a lot of points. Alright, let's go take a look at the scramble stuff. This looks chill. Yeah. I. Like, if you guys have never played Orcs Must Die. It's a great series. I recommend all of them. You can get Orcs Must Die 1 on 360. Uh, like, it's backwards compatible. I've never done a Series X video on it, though, sadly. I, I don't know why. I probably should at some point. Uh, Orcs Must Die 2 is only on PC. Orcs Must Die 3 is on Xbox, PlayStation, PC. And it used to be a Stadia exclusive. Uh -huh. But yeah, now it's on the Game Pass, which is why it's a perfect excuse to play this. No. Yeah. So, should we do... Oh, well, you can invite a friend for Scramble. Um, yeah, so we did stream, like, this whole thing, if you guys ever want to watch it. But I do have a great walkthrough on the channel if you need help beating the levels. It's actually pretty good, yeah. Sky, we need more attention. We need more time. <laughs> when this was a Stadia exclusive, that's where I did my, my walkthrough, was playing this on Stadia, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Well, like, I asked there are a lot of comments, and it's not like I have... Like, you know, because we, we did buy that... Remember I bought that monitor, and it was like... Uh, they see Amazon... I bought a new monitor, specifically a new monitor, and the company tried to get off on selling me, like, a used monitor, and I was like, God damn it!" But, like, the idea was to have a second monitor so I could just read comments easier. And it's like, I have to, like, move my head to read people's comments. It's like, I, I think I manage pretty effectively on, on what I do, honestly. Increase the cost of all traps? Add Zelzador to every wave? I'd rather die. Choose one tier map. Okay, decrease, increase this. Okay, let's do that one. Look here for debuff information. Okay. I could reroll. All enemies are immune to arcane damage. Scrambled eggs. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. All enemies are immune to arcane damage. Isn't that like... The general damage that every single weapon in this game does is arcane damage. I'm pretty sure every single weapon in this game does arcane damage. All of them, right? That's not good. Uh. Notice me, daddy, that's funny. It's zaddy on this channel is what we traditionally used to do back in the day. I've got such a sassy attitude here. Uh, yeah, anyways, it's it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. I mean, if you like the entertainment at all. 
Subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. God, this is tight. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option, and the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. There's also an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. How am I gonna do this? The traps cost more, and it's like, it's so tight, like it's a two, like it, it's so, how are you supposed to do this? It's, it's so like quick. Cause there's, there's like no space. Like usually you, you hold them together in one central area to kill them. <laughs> okay. So can we kind of slow them a bit? That's going to be too tight. Cause they're just going to destroy that trap. Right? Okay. This is going to be a challenge. A little bit of a challenge. Okay. Um. <laughs> One second here. Just trying to think of the most strategic way to make this a clusterfuck for him. But, uh. Hmm. Oh, so this is too tight, they're gonna smash this? Okay. Found a good spot. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's let's see how this looks. Cause you can follow the shadows to kinda get an idea of things. I think in the first one you just have to guess. Yeah, well, it's always important to support the content on the channel and stuff. I'm ready and, oh if you're my god, ready. I'm so tired. Ready? Cause I'm ready. Ah. And again, a, a great props to Mitchell like I did earlier in the stream. My friend just finished his hockey marathon, which I think was 11 days. It was, it was 262 hours, and uh, they raised $1.4 million for the Alberta Children's Hospital against uh, you know, childhood cancer research and all that. So, well, for childhood cancer research, not against it. Uh, yeah, so so props to uh, golf golf round of applause for Mitchell. This is skating. I'll, I'll have him on sometime to talk about it. I think or something someday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now they come from the other side. Hmm. <sighs> okay. I need more time. See, I don't even get to put any traps down because I have my barricade. So I actually don't have any. Can I sell traps over here? Do I, like, fun traps over here? There's... I don't even have any traps. I've got, like, two arrow walls and, like, a fire pit. I, I'm gonna have to kill them all myself, basically. Should I sword them, or should I, like, shoot them with the crossbow? It is a tight map. Like, this is maybe the tightest level in the game. I don't know if, it, if it's tight. Is like, is it, is it having a good time? I don't know. It's 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 difficult. Oh, and just to advertise, we do stream each night around this time. So there's always something fun going on. We do have a very exciting Thursday stream planned. If you guys want to tune in for that fun. Okay, so the horde is a coming, and I want to burn them because. That's my job. Okay, so I need some traps down on this side because there's literally none at all. I just can't afford good traps in this economy. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, because it's traps cost more. That's funny. It's just these hard economic situations that we're having to deal with. You know what I mean? I didn't think inflation hit the orcs must die universe, but obviously it has. Okay. Time to kill some orcs, I guess. Keep in mind, like, we're basically doing secondary content too, right? Like, there's so much, like, main campaign stuff you can do. It's, it's great. I'm just trying to get achievements because, I mean, if I'm streaming this, I might as well be achieving, right? Guy thumbs down. Oh, yes, the fillet doesn't have any channel memberships anymore. It's the hard economic times that have hit him. And his weird desire to fund a Suicide Squad stream. I, I don't understand why he wanted to do that. Or sorry, it was Buyer's Remorse that did that. But, you know, we all make decisions in life, right? 
buyer's remorse. Jesus. Ah, you guys killed me with the walls. Okay, so should I try to barricade the mill, or should I just sort of hope for the best? Ugh. It's only five waves, so I mean, oh yeah, good to go. It, it should work fine. This side actually seems less defended than that side, doesn't it? I mean, we have a hundred defensive things, but I'm assuming that's shared across the scramble of levels as opposed to just being available here. How did you get by my defenses? It's called a scramble because it's a pain in the ass. You're scrambling to save your life. I'd use the sword, but the the crossbow is just too effective. You wish you had a robot to serve you coffee. Hey, you know, someday Apple might have a robot. Is it possible I'm better at this? In your old age, my friend? I don't know. This never gets old. You gotta remember, this character's been in here since, like, you know, the original no works must die. He's actually grayed out across the, the different games, which is hilarious, the time change, right? He's like a young apprentice in the first one, and by the third game, he's like an old grade man. Same with the sorceress, she got old too. Still kind of attractive, but you know, she got old. <laughs> he's actually, the, the sorceress is the bad character in the first game, which is kind of funny. And then I think they they're like get married or something, or they fall in love. I just it's like a background plot on this one. Yeah, it's a whole thing. He funded the Suicide Squad stream. Yeah, Filet, he he gifted the Suicide Squad because it was half off. Yeah, he's he. I'm pretty sure he's buyer's remorse if I'm not crazy. Yeah, he he wanted that to happen for some reason. Yeah, him and Slaughter, they're a little sadistic. They they funded the Kong, the Gollum stream, Walking Dead Destinies. Yeah. Increase all range weapon damage. Alright, let's continue. So we're gonna go to tier two. Increase all very heavy enemies' health. Ugh. Greatly increase all orcs damage. In the sludge shelves? Okay, let's do it. All right. Something may be doing. You guys know about uh, Warcraft and stuff? You know, where they're kind of like, all right. Yeah, that, that kind of game, yeah. We'll get the stream. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll see. I'll probably I'll at least do videos for it. But when they do World of Warcraft, or Warcraft, the older Warcrafts on the Game Pass, we'll do we'll do a stream for it or videos. I don't know if we'll stream the Warcraft games, but we'll do videos on it at least. Tiptoe through the trap field. I think at the end of the day, though, I really hope that I motivate at least one of you guys to play Orcs Must Die, because this franchise is fucking awesome. Okay, let's see. So I think that's pretty good there. Subbing to the channel? More like you already subbed, because that's the only way you're able to comment. Haha! -ha! Which seriously cuts down on, like, the spam and stuff. You would be shocked. You would genuinely be shocked. Okay. Am I into racing games? I I like racing games. I'm not necessarily not like the craziest top tier racing dude. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've covered a lot of racing games. Your Forzas, your... I have a racing playlist. You might find that helpful. I have a racing playlist of all the racing games I've covered on Series X over the years. Uh, I, I don't know if you missed it, but we just uh, I just did a video on Trail Out yesterday. 
and Trail Out is kind of like the successor to Flat Out, and it's kind of like Wreckfest, where it's sort of like destruction-based racing. That one was pretty cool. That's a cheaper indie kind of game. It's kind of neat. I guess it depends on the type of racing game you're looking for. Do you want more like a motorsport, open world? Do you want like a derby kind of one? Lots of different racing games out there. Is this on Game Pass? It is. The best YouTuber. Well, I would never claim that sort of thing, but it's nice of you to say. At least those games are funny bad. I don't know, man. Gollum was, uh, Gollum was pretty torturous, honestly. Gollum was, uh, that was rough. Same with Kong. I was, like, pulling my hair out by, like, the, the end of Kong. That one was... Yeah, I, I did not. Kong was really just... Oof. Jeez, that one was quite something. Okay, so they move around that way. Yeah, like a limited budget here. Unleash the hold. So you put this back a little bit because you get the first door and the second door through this part. More arcade style racing. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit's pretty good. Uh, Need for Speed Unbound is okay. Uh, which is kind of a little arcadey. Um, arcade racing. I think there's some good ones. I, I don't know if Ultimate Dominion's in the chat, but that guy loves that kind of racing game. He's into the arcadey type of racing games. I don't know if he's talking tonight, though. Will we ever get another Golem stream? Uh, probably not. Probably not. If, if someone wants to pay for it, sure, I'll do a Golem stream, I guess, but like. Otherwise, no. Maybe someday for a charity stream. Uh, if I ever buy a house and I have Kevin over for a stream night, I'll I'll make him play that because he's a big Lord of the Rings fan. I think it would be funny. Are you shot by an archer? I am. I'm getting shot by crossbowers. I didn't even realize that. Leave me alone. Get away, orcs. You guys are tough. Oh yeah, they do more damage, don't they? Okay, so now they're coming from the second dory door here. Okay, so the idea here is to slow them down a bit if I can. Okay, so that touches the middle. I wonder if I could put this here and then kind of push them on the outside a bit more and kind of burn them and then shoot them with arrows. It's all about just like cutting them while they're coming, right? Go, go, go! I don't think they're coming from the other door. Or is is it this more door and the other door? The or no, it's just these two. Okay. MX versus ATV. Oh, those ones are kind of cool. Well, it's always nice when people drop by. I always, I really do appreciate when people just even drop by and do like a like on the stream and stuff. It's always helpful. Is this easy to pick up? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is. It, it, like, it's very intricate. Like, it's a very complex tower defense, the more you get along with it. But the way they do the Orcs Must Die series is like, your first levels are like super kind of like, you're learning, you're getting an idea of things. And it's, it's honestly, like, it's a series where you will fail a lot at doing it, but, like, that's how you learn in Orcs Must Die, is kind of, like, failing setups and trying different setups and trying to find a setup that, like, is, it possible I'm is the best for the particular scenario that you're doing. It's it's a big part of this series, is, is literally failure. Uh, but I, I don't think it's hard to pick up, but I'm just saying you'll fail in the sense, like, even I do it sometimes, where it's, like, you know, you, you just, you're like, your setup, it just isn't good for the set, like, the level, and that, like, challenges you to come up with new ways to beat stuff. And if you do have troubles, this game has, like, a really strangely dedicated community in terms of, like, videos and stuff. Like I said, I got a full walkthrough of this, uh, from the Stadia release of it. But, like, yeah, it, it's, it's got, like, a pretty dedicated audience where you can watch, like, they've got tons of, like, videos going over like strategies and guides and, and techniques and stuff that they use to like masterfully do the stuff. Like I'm honestly almost like a bit of a casual compared to some of the 
uh, more intense players that I've seen out there. Like, some people just literally have this down to, like, a T. Because there are perfect ways to beat every level, basically. Okay, so this is a bad setup here because they are pouring in. Oh my god. <sighs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, crap, 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 crap. This was so bad. I should have used the barrels there. Hmm. These little guys always get by, which is annoying. Hmm, okay, that's good. Eight waves? Oh, that's crap. I thought it was five waves. Works was this 2021? Have you been around that long, Zargonstrom? It's you're taking it back to 2021. Yeah, they added it to Game Pass. To the, or, well, it's, it's on there now, but it comes officially tomorrow, technically, right? So. Warcraft 2 and 3 are underrated. Uh, well, Warcraft 3 Reforged was really bad in terms of the setup and stuff like that. Uh, but, like, you know, obviously, the original Warcraft 3 is, like, one of the all-time great uh, real-time strategy games, uh, obviously. And, yeah, it should be neat when they're on Game Pass in the not-too-distant future from now. And, uh, like I said, we'll at least, I'll at least do videos for them. Because I have that for, for PC versions. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those, but I did videos of, like, Fallout uh, 1 and 2 and Tactics uh, running on PC Game Pass and stuff. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Same with uh, the Battle Spire, which is referenced all the time here because your guy has a hilariously large sword, and Red Guard uh, as well. But we're added to the Game Pass for PC stuff, so. Yeah. I cover it all, what can I say? I cover it all. I'm gonna let the big guy get by because there's no way I'm killing him. But I can kill all these, like, little guys. Oh crap 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 The worst thing you can do in a crisis is oh I could have stopped that guy damn no 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 is like get killed because ah because then all the other ones just sneak in and just like lose but yeah This is really kinda difficult. I'm not doing a very good job here honestly. Hmm I'm not gonna lose here, but it's a scramble, right? So this is only like tier two. I have to do five tiers. Like, I am below in this technically. They're so intense. Well, I mean, they are immune to arcane damage, I guess. Fuck it. Jeez. Really? Alright, so I was unable to stop them there. I was unable to stop them down there. I'm wondering if I could at least slow them down over more on this side. I've only got 3,000 points, so that's like barely anything. It's, it's just, it's, this is really difficult. And it's like, if I spend money on barricades here, yes, it'll slow them down, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't have the money to do this properly. Okay, hopefully that slows them down a bit. We still have to do 82. I have three more levels, I think. Right or am I on the third level? I think three more levels. I have to do two waves here. This is going to be difficult. Yeah, Google Stadia? Well, I think all the Google Stadia exclusives have made it to other platforms. This one has... Uh, we did we did a video on it not too long ago. The the one with the the girl, the the younger girl that I, I really like that one. What was that called? I did a video of it on Series X as well. It's um mm, fuck, I can't remember the name of it. You know what I'm talking about? The Guilt. It's called Guilt. G Y L T. I did a video on that one. It's cute and it's grim and dark and kinda of sad, and that was a Google Stadia exclusive from Tequila Works and that one. And that one made it to other platforms. I'd say the only exclusive Stadia game left would be Krata that didn't get ported over. Other than that, everything else has. How are they getting in like this? What the hell? What the hell?
They're killing me. Well, keep in mind that they are... I'm using arcane damage on my spike traps, and they are immune to arcane damage. This is going to be a difficult achievement, this scramble. Yeah, they're just... They are fucking pouring in here. Holy crap. My defenses aren't doing anything. This is insanity. I still have... Seven of eight. I... I didn't even hold them off at all. <sighs> Crap, that was brutal to watch, honestly. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, this is hard. This, this is really hard. The golden age of Cold War. Ugh. Sky must die? Yeah, that's exactly right. But not before I ask for your likes on the stream, be sure to like the stream, subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming channel member. Channel member gift in the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and okay times. There's also an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. I am going to die. No, that guy was a one shot! Oh no, I'm gonna totally blow this. Ugh. Yeah, see, honestly, like, my stuff's based around arcane damage, and arcane damage... That's the problem, is the... the fire traps, they don't work, do they? Because it's... the fire traps are arcane damage. So I've been putting fire traps down, and fire traps don't actually damage them. That's the problem. Oh, okay. That has to explain why, yeah, okay. Cause I'm like, there's no reason this many enemies should be getting here. Ow, oh, alright, okay. I'm just gonna let them get this, they earned that. So, I'm playing a mode called Scramble in case you're like, not cluing in or don't really know what I'm doing right now. So Scramble is like a combination, it's like a gauntlet battle where they string together levels and do like buffs and debuffs. So what's happened is, I have, there's an arcane damage thing, and they don't take damage to it as a debuff, so they're just yep, smoking me. A channel member in this economy fillet? Whoa. You only played a bit of it and you feel guilty? I thought Guilt was like a nice little game, I, I actually really enjoyed that one on Stadia. As I was trying to get into Stadia and working with Google, like I said, before they closed Stadia, they had this beautiful press portal where any game that was on Stadia, I could like request to do uh, like review stuff for any single one of them. And uh, yeah, like literally any game on Stadia, I could sit there and I could be like, oh, I'd like to do this. Like I'd like to do a video or I'd like to do written stuff for this game. And they would get back to me in like a few hours, basically, and I'd have access to any game. Like if Assassin's Creed, I wanted to play it on Stadia, I'd be like, can I get this? They'd be like, yep. And it's like Xbox and like PlayStation, they don't offer anything close to that at all. And then as soon as they did that, they made this nice press area for Stadia, and they're just like, all right, we've given up. And I was just like, oh, this is perfect. You know, you get a review code, you're playing a game in seconds, it's awesome. Elemental Earth Lords to every wave. Uh, increase all enemies. Okay, we'll do that one. See, it's like a gauntlet, this mode scramble. So I'm trying to get to level tier 2 and 5 completed. Tier 2, tier 5. That's hard. That's difficult. Yeah. Ooh, hitting Tsar with the Brazilian thing. And in this economy. So anyways, let's let's set this up well here. Hmm. Okay. So they both come in here to this one. Is there any other side entrances? Do they come up from the top? Or do they come from here? What's the challenge on this one again? They I think they're tougher? Because it'd be smart to slow these ones down, but if they're both gonna come down to this hallway, I might as well just make like a freaking kill box of the high heavens, eh? Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. And they do take arcane damage, so fire traps do work. I am just okay. So ready. Let's see how this goes. Nino Kuni? That game's pretty fun. No more wine. I do have a, uh, I have boxes of wine. I've got it, it should last me, like, years. I've got, like, six or seven boxes of it. Yeah, it should last me years. I do feel like, though, when we were doing our crazy emote unlocks, we should have pushed to try to unlock one more crazy emote. Because I think we were only, like, 50 channel members away. I don't think we'll ever reach that channel membership level again. Honestly, I don't I don't think we'll get close to that level. Now he's abusing the emotes. It's almost like he's the ultra channel member or something. It's like fillet wins. Hmm. Okay, let's see. More enemies on the way. They don't give you a lot of money on this one to deal with, eh? All these little annoying things. Cat daddy, god that kills me. Oh, and we have the uh We have the the Calgary Expo. Coming up, where if you guys aren't familiar with that, and oh, and again, if you're new to the streams, we do stream like each night around this time, so there's always something going on. Just like old time. Tomorrow we're testing out NHL, because we usually only do one NHL stream a year, but I want to see how it does with its Game Pass release, so we'll be doing that tomorrow night, and then on Thursday a surprise stream, I think. I'm still talking to people about it, so if you could definitely come out on Thursday, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, we're doing, was it, the Calgary Expo, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's like, it's actually one of the biggest in, in North America, like, comic expos-wise. Uh, we've got <sighs> that event coming up at the end of the month, so I'm hoping we're gonna get some cool interviews and stuff for the channel. The only problem is all these actors keep, uh, keep dropping out of the event, because they have, like, you know, like, work gigs being, like, you know, they have work, basically, which kind of sucks, because they had, uh, Gia, this, uh, the guy from Breaking Bad who does the chicken, and, you know, from Far Cry 6, he was, he just dropped out today, and I was like, no, because I'd like to get an interview with him, but, uh, I'm hoping we get some really cool interviews for the channel, um, probably, I don't know, late, late April? Early May, they'll probably be edited, to be honest, but yeah, at the end of the month, we'll have the, the Calgary Expo I'll be covering and doing work on. So that's fun. It won't impact, I don't think, any of the videos on the channel, but, you know, it'll be business as usual. But I'll be working and doing that stuff. Yeah. Like the Scala move. Bum, 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 bum. Orcs gotta die. It's so nice to have an excuse to play this. That's what I'm kind of using Game Pass as now. It's just an excuse to occasionally play these older titles. And drums of interest because people are curious about them. I wonder if we could pull that off for PS Plus stuff. I was kind of thinking about that too. Lean into the PlayStation users more. They're not even getting to this point. I wonder if I... I'm just like wondering if it's gonna start picking up enemies-wise. Because I'm... Because hmm. I'm sort of... A, I am actually getting them into a pretty effective kill box here. That makes sense. Because I'm just like, do I post stuff here and just burn more of them? Yeah, okay, this I'm 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 strangely confident I I got this. Is this a mobile game? Uh no, no. I don't think you can I don't think there is an Orcs Must Die mobile 
Honestly, a bit of a missed opportunity not to do a free-to-play Orcs Must Die game. I think that would actually do really well in Asian markets, probably, honestly, but no, nah, it's not a mobile thing. It might be on the Xbox Cloud streaming, but yeah, it's not a, not a mobile game, to my knowledge. It used to be a Stadia exclusive. Now that's going to be a funny relic to tell people in like 10 or 20 years. It's kind of like when you tell people that you knew what on live was. Because <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers on live, but that was a thing once upon a time. It was like Stadia, but 10 years too early? Free to play. There, yeah, there was Orcs Must Die Unchained. We talked about that earlier. It was a competitive multiplayer Orcs Must Die game. Kind of like mobile like. But uh, it was only on PlayStation and PC, and they closed that one. Yeah. It's actually pretty funny, I was, I was reading today that apparently Wizards of the Coast or whatever, the people that own D&D and that, uh, they're hunting for a studio to take over for, D or for uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or Baldur's Gate 4, because they're hoping it doesn't take 25 years to make another one. Uh, because Larian, they're, they're going to be working on Divinity, right? So, they're like, we gotta get a new team to work on this IP, right? We don't want to miss out on all the freaking money that a Baldur's Gate 4 would bring in, but I, I do... Apparently they've had a lot of studios pitch on that to do a Baldur's Gate 4. But I feel like the quality is gonna dip no matter what happens there. This is a great setup. You know, not to pat myself on the back here, but... This is phenomenal. Like they don't even get like to this halfway point. This is great. Hi there. Hmm. Bum, 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 All these orcs gotta die. They must... A great name for this series, too. Orcs Must Die. Oh, thanks for the donation there, Ash Eternal. I've got the, uh... What do I have? People never ask me. I've got the HyperX uh, Quad Caster? I think it's called. I have the, uh... There's a link in the video description. It's... I think it's Skycaptain 5's Amazon store. And that's, that's not an affiliate link thing. Like, there's an Amazon affiliate link, but there's also the Amazon Sky Captain 5 store. If you click the store, there's, like, a tab called Equipment. I have to update it, because I got a new capture card. But, uh... He's Combo Roared Coin. Yeah, if you click that, you can actually... There's a tab in the Amazon Sky Captain store thing or whatever, and it's just my equipment, and it just shows all of the stuff I use. Which probably helps, if, if that makes sense. Am I gonna watch the new game reveal with Kevin? I, Kevin is so freaking, like, hard to talk, like, communicate with. Like, he's so busy, it's hard to talk with him. I, I let him know that the Warhorse thing is... Um, is it tomorrow or is it the day after? Because uh, they're, they're announcing Kingdom Come 2 Warhorse, if you guys didn't know. I think it's on the 18th, Kingdom Come 2 is being revealed. Uh, which I think is Thursday. Yeah, it's like just after 12, so yeah, it'll be Thursday is the reveal, I believe, for that one. This map is a real clusterfuck. Uh, <laughs> and this map is hard. Uh, yeah, so I did, I did let Kevin know that the reveal... For Kingdom Come 2 is, is going to be on that day, but I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be uh, watching or not. I, I have no idea. Hmm. Uh, okay, let me think about this for a sec. Let me think about this. For a second, okay. Hello, old 
trap, buddy. Okay, so then they're gonna come up this way. That's not how we do it, is it? That's not how we do it. How do we do this level? Sorry, let me think about this for a sec. There is a very intricate way that you properly do this level. There's, there's a very specific, intricate way that you are supposed to do this map because it is a complete and it's utter clusterfuck of a level. <laughs> You've got to do it kind of like just right because it is a mess of a map. So, Because guys come from underneath, they come from the sides. You're supposed to like funnel them like all the way back through these areas. And I'm trying to think of the way that you do this the most effectively because this is like I th I don't know if this is one of the hardest levels like in the game but it's one of the ones that takes like the most strategic co coordination they go all the way over that way and then they go all the way down there and then they come you're supposed to funnel these guys up the stairs and then around this way and up these stairs Yeah, you're supposed to funnel them so they go up those stairs, but that's a different level. And then these guys will come in this way, and then you make like a kill box. It's like a zigzag clusterfuck of chaos is what you're building. All right, let's uh, let's get going here. Hmm, Venetica. You bought Venetica for two bucks. We'll someday we'll do a stream of Venetica. Most of you haven't seen my Venetica video, because I can tell by the views. But Venetica is very funny. It's kind of like Risen. And it's got like this busty woman as like the daughter of like the devil or something like that. We'll, we'll someday do a stream of it. It's pretty funny. It doesn't look like there's a mic in front of me. There isn't. It's to the side. It's uh, it's over there. Yeah, it's it's down over that way. It's to my left like the webcam and then the TVs over that way and then the microphones to my left yeah game pass is getting better I mean it started getting better as soon as they gave up exclusives on Xbox um, yeah the second half of April isn't very good though I mean I like orcs must die but let's be real here I'm like you know yeah. Enemies are preparing to one of our gates. It's a very good microphone though. I, I highly, highly recommend it. Yeah, I've used it for years now. It's it sounds great. It's the best microphone I've ever owned. I was kinda mad though when I bought it because I bought the red one and then like literally a month after they announced like a multicolor RGB version of it. I was like, oh come on, I could have like a green microphone or something, which would have been better. I mean, I guess I could like pick it up for you or something, but you can you basically just look it up online. That's that's what the microphone is. Yeah. I have like a like an arm for it, but I never use that. Yeah, I haven't set that up. But honestly, I need like a proper desk someday and some better equipment. I do things pretty like. Like, I do good quality stuff, but, I mean, it is pretty budget stuff that I set up, too, honestly. Yeah, it's not like I'm ra racking in the dollars on stuff. Picks up my voice. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a great microphone, it's a great condenser. Uh, micro I think, yeah, condenser microphone, and it's got, like, really good, like, I've done a lot of fine-tuned settings so that it just picks things up properly, and it's a great microphone. But that's also why sometimes I sound different in some videos, is like some videos, if I'm doing a video that I've recorded and I'm adding audio to it later, I'll sound different because I'm talking into the microphone, whereas here I'm talking to like the microphone is to my left. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's a very, very good noise cancellation. Yeah, someday we'll do a, a Venetica livestream. 
someday. Hmm, yeah. Someday we will. Someday Venetica will return. Okay, how do we do this? How do we do this? Because they're going to start coming from the other side soon, aren't they? Okay, so now they're coming from the basement. <laughs> That's too tight. Okay, there we go. See, this map is all about funneling and giving yourself precious time to do stuff. Precious time to kill orcs, basically. See, it's, it's a lot more barricades, a lot less trap-driven, sadly. Okay, so this one, we try to funnel them up through there. They, they have, in my walkthrough, <laughs> they have a perfect way that you do this, and like... Right there. Yeah, I don't remember it fully well, because like the last time, like I said, the last time we streamed this was in 2021. It was like, I'm going off of like, hard memory at this point. So eventually they all get funneled around and then they come over here, which is supposed to be a bit of a kill zone. But obviously we don't have enough money to set that up yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. So they're gonna be coming out this side and then the basement too for the first time, yeah. Seven days to die. I don't like that game, so I we, we, we really, yeah, we won't be doing a seven days to die live stream. Unless they, like, fix that game on Xbox. It's actually being removed from Game Pass, I think. But yeah, no, I I don't really like seven days to die, so I don't think we'll ever do that one, sorry. Fallout 4 was ten bucks. Yeah, they had a good deal on Fallout 4, and uh, yeah, I didn't grab it. I didn't hear back from my Bethesda person. I should actually probably email them on Wednesday and follow up on stuff. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know, I'll follow, or cover follow when the time comes and blah 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 and all that other stuff. See, these guys are coming in properly. Why do they look so confused? You see this great setup I have here? It's very clever. Don't worry, there's a lot of there's a lot of strategy to the madness I have going on. Don't worry, there's there's some stuff here I got set up. The question is, how do I want to funnel them? Do I want to go to the left, or do I want to go the other way? A little too chaotic at the moment. I, I need more coins to fully set up my strategy, basically. But it's all about buying yourself time in this. It's all about buying yourself time. I'm like, I should funnel them maybe this way, and then it's like a kill box. Yeah. He really likes traps. Because then they have to go down the middle, and then they get burned here. Ah, <sighs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of complexity. This this map is one of those like challenge kind of maps where there's like there is a lot more going on in it. You gotta do things really well. I need a steering wheel. I have a steering wheel for Volt, so it's just a lot of work to bring out. I wish I had that kind of time to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize like it's I'm always very time strapped. Any worries, it's been a while. Oh no. Uh, be sure to like the stream. Did I do this already like a few minutes ago? Subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member. Fuck me. Channel member gifting the Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter and great times. There's also the Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that. And uh yeah. That's that's all. 
They say channel members are gifting, you know, all that kind of stuff. God damn it, I lost 19 points. I still have to do three more levels after this. Those stupid little fire thingies. Ah, what a piss off that is. Oh my god. That is so annoying. Can I fit a second one in there so they don't break it right away? Ooh. Ah. Man is running out. That is so annoying. Oh my god. Those little fire ember little sons of a... Ah. I think that's why I'm supposed to have the archers up here. I haven't had the money to put the archers up here. Yeah. I also, I have from Turtle Beach, I have the... Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the review for that one, but I've got the Air Force One. It's like a giant. It's like the the wheel, but for like flight simulator, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty cool. It's it's awesome. But the thing is, is like setting up for that kind of stuff is just like so much work, and I never have like time to set stuff up, which is disappointing. But that's life. That slows them down too. I forgot about that strategy. Now, like, can I double up on this, or are they just gonna break this? <sighs> Found a good spot. Okay. Hopefully, this helps a little bit. Because it's like they're not supposed to break the barricades. Because if they break the barricades, the whole strategy fails, right? You don't want the barricades broken. Yeah, I just, I, I really lack the currency to properly execute my vision of watering these orcs. Yep, roll on. Yeah, out. the stupid little fire embers. They cost oh, me 19 points. And like I said, I have to do five levels. I'm only on level two. Demon? What's they Demon Hunters? I, I don't know what that is. Here's like, are you talking about that, like, anime Demon Hunter thing? Ooh, okay. Boom boom for you and boom boom for you. Why is that troll going the wrong way? It's like the pathing on this level is completely broken for some reason. Is there like an opening in the barricade I don't realize or what? Okay, Whatever fun. kills the troll, I guess, right? That guy's moving through all the traps at breakneck speeds. I don't like that at all. Mr. Ogre, you're not supposed to be able to move like that. I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Are they breaking through my barricades? Nope, they're all good. Okay. I think the archers was a good call. They helped cut down on the enemies quite a bit. Yeah, in the older Orcs must die games, I really relied heavily on my like soldiers, and it's like in this one, you can't really do that as much. Hmm. That's not gonna catch any of them. I need more money for like barricades. Ugh. Ugh. You know what I mean? Medieval Dynasty? Yeah, I did that one. We did a stream of that one. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Orcs minced meat. Well, you know, the orcs, they, they taste you when you eat them and kill them. <laughs> or so I've heard. How the frickin' hell did those orcs get there so fast? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 where's... Oh, the explosive guys! Oh, you... Monsters! Oh no! Those freaking. I always forget about the stupid explosive guys. <sighs> we'll stop attacking my barricade. Well, that's not good. Hmm. 
See, I gotta set this up in case they get over here, but I'd like to damage them before they get over there. Yeah, these these barricades are getting freaking smacked around. That's not good. Yeah, the freaking those little explosive sons of a they're always a problem, those explosive guys. Those are the Null Hunters. The Null Hunters are my arch nemesis in this game. Yeah, the Null Hunters will just screw you. Hello, old drop buddy. Tells me I need a little bit of spiky spiky up here before More these barricades get damaged. Me. Yeah, it's just because they're breaking these barricades. I should almost keep some money sitting there just in case that happens. <gasps> the Null Hunters! But yeah, I have noticed a lot of the enemies, they keep getting stuck back and forth there, so if I have some burn traps, they at least get killed a little bit, eh? Really gotta keep an eye on these barricades. Because like I said, yeah, the barricades fall, your strategy just completely falls apart. Good workout. I almost want to like double up on these barricades, but I think it would be too expensive. Hmm. Kind of cheaper to replace them if the barricades kind of fall. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting some, uh, some stuff here, eh? Just in case. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm always open to suggestions for streams and stuff, but we've, you know, we've, we've done quite a few. You know, you stream, like, basically, like, each day there's... You know, you do quite a few games over time, honestly. Quite quite a few games. Yeah. Tiptoe through the trap field. Alright, unleash the horde, let's get it done. Oh, leave poor Bateman alone. I'm trying to drive people away from that channel. Whoever you are copying poor Bateman. Game on Steam, now it's on Game Pass. You gotta, you know... You never know when things are gonna chop on the Game Pass, honestly. Like, I, this was a surprise to me entirely. Honestly, I wish that Xbox, like, kept me in the loop on Game Pass stuff, and then I could, like, more strategically set up my stuff. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you guys, obviously, but it would be... Honestly, incredibly helpful if I was able to, like, sign an NDA with Xbox and just kind of be like, Hey, here's when this stuff's coming, and... You know, that would be, uh... Kind of amazing, and then I'd be able to... You know... No, when stuff was coming out, and that would be great. Stupid freaking fire embers. It's a huge cost thing, kind of getting those things done. And it's like if they die right here and they blow up these things, you know, enemies just they pour in. That's how we lost those 19 lives, right? Then they get to your archers and kill all your archers too. Well, that's a big problem. This series is so good. Oh, yeah, I hope they remaster the first and second one and bring them to consoles too. That'd be great. Nice trilogy pack, honestly. But uh, I don't know if this has local co-op. I know there's online co-op, but I don't know about local. Hmm. Need to do more damage before they get up here. This never gets old. 
More enemies all the way. Let me get another archer up here. They're attacking a barricade. Stop attacking my barricades. You know how expensive these barricades are, and in this economy. <sighs> I, uh, I I don't watch other people that do streams and video stuff. It's not my really my thing. I occasionally watch a group that does the guinea pig stuff on Instagram, but I don't watch other people do content. Don't really have time for it, uh, honestly. Good workout. All oh, these stupid fire guys. Oh god, that was a bad placement. That was accidental. If you're asking if I'm doing in real life live streaming, it's something we've talked about occasionally. Is uh, nature walks or something stream, but. I have mean, never really had time for that specifically. Maybe we can get away with that. Uh, that's well. That might kill some. I keep forgetting I need to save some points in case a barricade blows up. Oh, no local cop. Okay, there you go. That's that answers that question. Okay, so we're on the final wave, so everything should be good. Barricade's not in the best of health. I wonder if we could put this as like a padding barricade right here. I'm just gonna put Archer, like. And then I'll save the rest to replace barricades. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah. What barricade did they destroy? Where is the barricade destroyed? I don't know where these barricades are getting destroyed, but it's kind of scaring me. Oh, they're destroying barricades over here. Okay. Fuck. These fucking doll hunters, dude. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, that was fun. Like I said, the barricades fall, the strategy falls apart. Oh, that was hard. <sighs> yeah. Oh, somebody was in a storm or something? I don't know, people do all kinds of stuff for views and people like it, some people don't, I don't know. If I was doing outdoor stream stuff, I'd probably do it in snowstorms for the lols, but I'm just crazy. You know me, I'm just wild. Yeah, Zarya's is right, it is that time to uh, like that there stream. Subscribe is great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gift in the Patreon option, in the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, great times. And there's the Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. Lose 10 coins every 10 seconds? Headshots will trigger a pulse that heals enemies. Fuck. 
lose a hundred coins every 10 seconds. I feel like that would be impossible. If you're, if you're losing that many coins every 10 seconds, you, you literally would not be able to like do anything. Okay, so I do have a reroll available. I actually, I wanted to click reroll, but there we go. Oh, God. So this is gonna be, I think this is a war mission. I don't know if you guys have seen the war missions yet, but they're like large scale battles, so. Hmm. Yeah. A sky and real master. I tried. I just I couldn't get those interviews going. I I tried for um, the Halo show and stuff, and yeah, I just I could not. Uh, I could not get those interviews to go. Sadly, I tried. I tried my best, but. Sometimes this stuff just does not work out for interviews and stuff. Okay, so we're going to funnel them through this side. We got $26,000. This is, okay, so this is like, if you guys aren't familiar with the war missions, they're big, big, big war missions. Huge, huge enemy counts and everything like that. Okay, so we are going to cut off one side. And force them to walk all the way around, basically. Do we cut it off here, or do we make them walk along this side? I think we cut them off literally here. Higher. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Hmm, because we want them to come up here, but we don't want them to go this way. Yeah, because then they go this way. Yeah, I think they go... To go cut that wall? That's weird. Because I think I also want to cut them off so that they come all the way around here. Pretty happy with that. That doesn't work. I should have somebody to do this for. Does that stop them from coming over here and then they go the other way? Let's let's go take a look at the pathing. This one takes a little bit more complexity. Yeah, a Schreiber interview. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, I, I'd like. To, you know, Master or the original Master Chief's voice actor would be really fun to interview and stuff, but like I said, it's uh, it's hard to set those up and you gotta have good views and it's not easy. Yeah, I tried. Hmm. Always trying to do cool interviews. And like I said, if you guys have never watched my interviews, they're always worth checking out. You know, the more views you get on them, the easier it is to uh, get more interviews in the future and stuff too, right? It all builds upon each other. I bet this kills like a hundred gazillion orcs. It really does. Oh wait, no, they're impervious to ice. Remember? Or it, does that go every single level? Does it like transfer level to level? Level? Yeah, I don't. I think they're impervious to ice. Who's the big boy? What does this do? That's like a boulder thing. What does the beehive do? Okay. And I think we put these guys out here, don't we? I don't know, do the archers have that kind of range? Or... I don't know how far they shoot. Like, do they shoot all the way over there? Is this manual? Yeah, this is manual. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a set of archers here. I'm, I'm gonna see what they do in this spot. Like, see if they actually oh, man. can like hit amazing. guys from over here or not. I don't know if they can from that spot. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to 
kill trap these things as best as we can. What we should be doing is sending these guys. Should be sending them down. We should be swinging them up over that way. Right? Whoa! I guess bigger really is better. We should be sending them over there. This the the setup on this one's gonna be a little little bit more intricate than it normally is. In case you're wondering, that's why it's taking so longer. Pretty happy with that. Cause yeah, the setup is going to be to push them like all the way around. I forgot, they come through this way too, so you have to defend this area. Not in the first round, but in like the later rounds you have to defend this spot as well. Which makes this double hard. So you basically, you have to funnel them so they go all the way around this area. Yeah. And even then it's like incredibly difficult to like kill them all. <sighs> And then you get the ones that destroy the barricades, and then you go, God damn it. I should have somebody to do this for me. So yeah, the idea is to follow them like all the way around the giant square, and hopefully massacre as many of them as you can before they get over there. Any questions? <laughs> I remember having better, like, large traps, like big, big traps. No? Only these ones. Oh, that's weird. What do you do? Is not an Extract enemies and do psycho damage. And I can't have these guys on the inside, eh? Hmm. Alright. Hello, old trap buddy. Uh, kinda wondering if I should focus more on having traps later on, especially when the second tier enemies kinda break through. Yeah, usually I think I do my kill box here. Tiptoe through the trap field. And then I think they kind of get stuck around the outside. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's let's see how this ready, works. Six ready. ways of this. I'm ready. Yeah. How much is it? I actually don't know this one. I think it's like half the price of a full game. I mean, it is on the Game Pass right now, so you can check it out. So do you archers actually- oh, they do shoot over here! Well, I should have done another set of archers, I guess. Okay. We're just gonna inspect for a sec to make sure everything's working as intended. Ah, damn it. Because, yeah, the idea is that this side, they come up over here, they realize there's barricades, and they go back, and they go around here, down here. And they kind of get stuck and then walk the other way. They're already breaking through. Yeah. It's amazing that I actually remember the strategies at all for this level. It genuinely is. Yeah, because I think later on in the levels I just sit back in my kill box and I just kill. Yeah, I think I literally just hide here. Those fire guys are a huge problem though. That 
That's right. Keep them coming. It's gonna be a lot of fucking works. <laughs> it, it really is. It's a great game, though. I, you know, it's it's always one that I easily and highly recommend. I think it's a great time. As, as soon as I it dropped on the Game Pass, I was like, that's what I'm doing tonight. I was like, yep, this this is what I'm playing. No, it's working as intended. Okay. There's a lot of orcs coming, guys. There's a lot of orcs coming. This is gonna be a hell of a battle. But that's the fun of tower defense games, is like the time. Like, you just literally, your like, hours just melt away. Which is kind of nice if you're just looking for something with good value, like time killing wise. It's perfect for that. Welcome to the kill box. All the death you could ever want in one convenient area. But like seriously, if at any point that like the trap stuff gets screwed up here, I like you literally you just you're basically not able to recover. Whoa, who did I get shot from? I'm getting like bomb thrown at. I don't like that one bit. It's the problem is they've got like really good multiplier enemies after me to throw like grenades and stuff. And like it destroys your barricades. It's like traditional levels you wouldn't get those kind of things as much. But because it's a scramble it's harder. Hmm. They're still coming, eh? Traps, 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 These stupid little things. These ones are always the ones that make you lose all your points. Just like old time. Are they still coming? You gotta remember too, if I hit them in the head they heal because of that debuff thing. And headshots are how you kill these things tougher or quicker, these ogres, so, yeah. Yeah. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. I'm not too concerned yet, I'm just killing. I think I need to put more of those pad things down that like launch the orcs into the water. Good work out. I get those wave kills. Feels so good. 
Yeah, because if I hit them in the head, they heal. Or do they heal their teammates and not themselves? I don't know how that works. If that heals themselves or their teammates. It's a long wave. Holy crap. Someone keeping score? Because we totally should. Okay, so I think for these launch pads, I should try to launch more of them into the into the water if I can, right? How come Cygnus never told me about these things? Wait, so I only got like. I am just. <laughs> I only got like a few thousand points. Oh my god, how am I supposed to set up this stuff here? They're not coming through the other side yet, are they? No? Okay, good. Another rift at any cost! He's opening up another one. How much more of this can Borwick take? What? There's another rift opening up? What do you mean? It's outside my kill zone? What the fuck? Oh, it's a random rift. Oh, okay. Fuck. I'm not set up for this. I'm not set up for this at all. I didn't think they came this far. Oh yeah, it was a surprise rift you made. That's not good. I forgot that was a thing. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a sneak attack, basically. Holy crap. Enemies at the rift! Enemies at the rift? What the fuck you mean, enemies at the rift? There's no enemies at the rift. <laughs> I've risen from the dead. Like that one famous guy. You know, the zombie. There are the enemies in our rift room. These stupid Nal hunters. I think they just heal other people. I don't think the headshots heal themselves. Yeah, I think it just heals others. Do they have any bigger ones? Stupid Nile Hunters. Oh, okay. The barricade is under attack. These fire guys are scary. through the trap field. There's so many of them. What are we going to do? Hello, old trap buddy. Alright, well at least we cleared off a lot of them over here. <laughs> Try not to act so stunned. There's so many there really is a lot of these guys. Harold Halbert. I was looking at that. The reviews for it are very good. I'll probably do a video for it, I would imagine. I just don't know when. A lot of stuff releasing right now. Oh, you're not dead yet? I thought you were dead, Mr. Ogre. Yeah, I had time to refortify this area up. Take it. A lot of the enemies are struggling to get through the area, which is good. Let's keep
game needs you you can play this game online there's online co-op It really does mess up their pathing. See, look, the traps are working as intended. They're <laughs> they're kind of setting them back over there and screwing with their pathing. Okay, we need another set of archers. Ah, oh, this is perfect. That's like that's mulching a good amount of them out of the way. Eh? Look at that. I mean, some of them it's helping get closer, but then they have to run back this way, so it totally works out. This attack, courtesy of me. I wonder if that kills them too, or just... I don't know. I'm fine. Oh fuck! <laughs> like, they cut me hard there. But you know what really cuts me hard, guys? Not getting enough of your likes on the stream, so be sure to like the stream. Subscribe, it's great, donations, cool, consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gift and the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chat, and great times. It's also an Amazon store for the link. If you're into that kind of thing. I don't think that guy. Look at There's one guy that's moving through all the traps. Okay, he died. I was like, I don't think he'll make it very far, but you never know, right? I actually get a variety of content on the channel. More so than I think in other places, stream wise. Okay, that was fun. Give me your points and your soul. I forgot how long some of these levels take. Is that it? Especially if you mess up, you gotta redo it, right? Let's get him. Hey, for Manor Lords, I had a couple people asking me about Manor Lords. I don't know if I have a hype for it, but uh, I don't know. It might be nice to do a video of it. It's only on PC, which makes it a little harder to do, but. I, I would say there's interest, but it's just whether or not I can, you know, fit that in. So now they're going to be coming from the other entrance as well. So we're going to have to make that work. 2750. Do I get enough out of the archers to justify that? I think they would cut down the enemies quite fast for me. Okay, so we're going to start working over here. So this is when the kill box becomes more and more important, because they start streaming out of this back area over here. So they start coming from from this space, and they start coming in. This is usually why we have archers up there. Sometimes they break in and go kill all the archers, so you kind of need a spot for it. I'm just going to create a really effective kill box, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, this will do. They just don't give you enough freaking points to do enough stuff. You know what I mean? There's too many enemies in that. Too many enemies for the uh, for the resources I get. Found a good spot. Did they only come out of this side this time? See, I. Yeah, I feel like they give you less money than they do in the campaign, because normally I'd have enough money to put up, like, big defenses here to kind of, like, face these guys. Is there, like, a trebuchet usually? There's, like, kind of defense that you use against these guys. Oh, and the trolls. Oh, that's the worst. Ugh. Yeah, there, there, there have been a few ones. I thought that was funny, too. I had quite a few people asking for House Flipper 2 when I did a video on it. I was kind of like, eh. Yeah, on the performance for that one, but you never know on overtime on that stuff. I'm sure it'll end up on Game Pass eventually. Boom boom for you and boom boom for you. Here they come. Ah, I'm giving. 
this could be a fucking problem. This is gonna be a fucking problem. This is a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. <sighs> Stop destroying my barricades, you little ember mother. Ah. Problem is the cinder things that destroy the barricades. You're screwed, right? There's too many of them. Another crab's treasure? Yeah, I'll... I don't know if I'll stream that one. Because it's like a Dark Souls game, but I'll do a video for it. Only 4,700 points? Are you freaking kidding me? That's all the points I get? There's a lot of enemies I gotta kill for 4,700. Oh man. Right there. That's a lot of points. Okay. Hmm. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> this never gets old. Mmm. 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 Hmm. -hmm. Trying to make a kill box, you know how it is. Now let's see how this does. PC will get it on Battle.net? I, I don't know, honestly. Because it's like, for Diablo 4, it seems like they really half-assed it, but we've got Crash... Not Crash Bandicoot, uh, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy is on the Microsoft Store, so it's a natural integration they're gonna do for Game Pass. So for the CODs, I really do not know. Because some of the CODs are on Game Pass, but they're not Play Anywhere titles. I, it's, it's really hard for me to tell, because like on one hand, I think they're gonna half-ass it and just have them go through the battle map. On the other hand, I think they're maybe going to do it properly because Call of Duty is, like, such a big deal. Honestly, the biggest thing they've ever had at the Game Pass, but I really don't know at this point. Because with Diablo 4, I'd sit there and be like, oh yeah, they're just going to half-ass it. But with how they did the Spyro thing, which is not Game Pass yet, but they just made it like a Play Anywhere. I think it's Play Anywhere, but they added a Microsoft Store version of it. So for proper Game Pass integration. So I, I really am yeah, not sure. I am confused. That's how I feel with most Microsoft stuff these days. I have no idea what they're doing. Crap, where is that rift? Oh, who cares about that area? They destroyed my goddamn barricade. I hate those fire embers. Yeah, 
There are so many of them. Oh my god, they don't end. They just keep coming. That's what she said. I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. This is why we make a kill box, guys. This is why, right here. Ooh, do they have any more of those? Yeah, in the campaign, I think they give you more budget and stuff. A little less challenging enemies, too. The Cyclopses? Oh, no. Only 6,000 points? Uh, okay. I'm gonna work on making the kill box deadlier. Remember, it's just, mostly a lot of it is just about slowing them down. Slowing them down as much as you can, especially if your barricade's full. Hmm. So most of them come through here. I don't think these air walls, that one, that's far enough. Because I'd rather catch as many as I can in one area, if that makes sense. Hmm. I like overkill on some of this stuff. It's kind of like wondering if I should like double up on barricades. I guess I should keep some extra cash just in case the barricades fall, but... Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> you kind of earn enough points just when they're coming here. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying is, is because Spyro Reignited got like a Windows Store edition like last week, that kind of tells me that they are doing some integration, but I don't know how much because they, like I said, they half-ass it for Diablo. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if that's because people are complaining that they half-assed it or just, just so they did or they're testing different things for different games. I don't know. Like I said, they are very hard to read. Microsoft, they are very, very hard to read. There may be a day where the city falls to the orcs, but today will not be that day. Fire! <laughs> Another, rift. Another rift in this economy? How could they do this to me? Where's this orc or rift coming from? Oh, right here? I mean, this is just an area where my kill zone is, so not a big deal. Sure, send him this way. I'm not gonna do anything. Sword does any good damage here. Nah, sword's always dangerous. Fuck, that was a bad idea. That was a very, very bad idea. You would think there'd be more songs written about me by now. My energy brings more riffs. I don't think you can open these riffs forever. Where the fuck is another riff? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Oh crap. Oh yeah. Watch that first step. They're almost there. I've risen. Well, like that one dream is a rift, you know. A zap. A cooler. Kind of feels like cheating that rift, but whatever. Did they get through my defense here? Nah, my kill zone is effectively killing them. 
barricade. Really? Stop destroying my barricades. I don't appreciate it. That got the blood pumping. There's so many of them. These laser walls actually do anything. Okay, that was fun. Slice and dice, am I right? Could you imagine being one of the soldiers that has to like blindly walk into like a place where there's all this stuff here? There's a meat grinder that you can actually get like a meat grinder. Yeah. No, I mean, like like I said, there's there's a right way to kind of integrate all that Activision Blizzard stuff, and there's a the wrong way. And what I saw from like them integrating Bethesda, it's just gonna be like hit or miss on integration. It's it's gonna be mostly half-assed because they never fixed all the Bethesda stuff either. It's yeah. I used to always really think that they knew what they were doing, and I just kind of like, I don't know. The pretty lights. <laughs> oh, that hits far enough. You should almost push them out to that wall, and then you can just arrow the hell out of them. There's still a lot of them to go. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I should save my points. It's like. I don't think they're gonna get through this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think they can get through that at all. I mean, the only way they even got through here was by cheating. Wait, these guys are damaged? I love the idea that these guys, like, even if they get through that, all that stuff outside, they have to go through this. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to get through this? That was me that Should play this one instead. Uh, well, actually, believe it or not, there is a story between all three Orcs Must Die games. So the character I'm playing here... Strangely, I think is called Maximus. I don't know if that's his name. It's, it's been a while. He's the apprentice. So in the first Orcs Must Die, you're young and you're an apprentice. In the second one, you, you actually get a little older, and I think he's... I don't know if he's married or has a romantic relationship going on or something. But that's the second one, because it's co-op focused. The first one is single player, the second one's co-op focused. And then this third game is them teaching like a new generation of like... Uh, orc killing people. Like, they have apprentices now, basically. So there, there is actually a storyline across all three Orcs Most Die games. So it's... I mean, if you want the story, it is worth actually playing them in a row, in my opinion. But, like, yeah, you can easily just jump in on this third one and kind of... You'll be fine, too, but... there There is a story to it. Yeah. Orcs Must Die 2 is cool. I wish they would... I'd wish they'd remaster the original and the second one and port them to consoles. It can't take that much to do, and I think they should make some money off of it, I would think, right? Maybe they get, like, a Game Pass deal or something. Ah, it'd be cool to have a whole series on here. Dang. There, no, there, there really is. There, There is actual, like, there's a story to this game. It's not just, like, a mindless tower defense game. There actually is, like, a full narrative and everything. I've watched this character since, like, 2000... I don't know when the first Orcs Must Die, but it was, like, 360 era. I've watched this character literally grow old. He has, like, I don't know... Yeah, you can see it. He's got, like, gray hair now. 
<laughs> he's like he's actually aged, which is cool because a lot of franchises they don't let their characters age, right? And he's he's actually gotten older, which is cool. It's neat. Yeah, it's very different. Okay. Hmm. Like, I could do more barricades out here, but it feels kind of pointless, because I don't think the enemies are going to get through. Who the hell's still alive? And don't forget to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donations, cool. Consider becoming... Channel member, did I just say this? I don't know. Channel member gifted, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, and the Amazon store affiliate link. Grab anything on Amazon, use the link in the video description. Is this this one fucking guy? We won already? <laughs> awesome. Alright, so what kind of money did we get? Three they didn't even give me more money? Oh come on. Yep, roll on. Like deodorant. Alright. Final wave, let's do it. Get to the kill box. I wonder if they'll do any more sneak attack enemies. Or enemy waves. Hmm. Tiptoe through the trap field. Like they're they're not even what am I who am I kidding? They're not even gonna get through. Yes, it's only when they do these ridiculous cheap wave things that they get by. Yeah, this is where they like teleport enemies in behind us. The magic's not really flowing right now. That's what she said. Yeah, it was weird. I, I think the idea is is you gotta remember the the company that makes these games. I, I don't know if it's the same company now or they were bought or something or things changed over time. You gotta remember they they're like they are an indie studio like through and through. So I think it was a budget thing, was they, I think the consoles couldn't do co-op, and they wanted to do a bigger, better sequel, so they tried to do uh, a PC-only version, and I don't think it was successful enough, and then they tried to do a multiplayer game with Orcs Must Die Unleashed, and then they, the only way they were able to do a third one, I guess, was because uh, Google was looking for exclusives, and they did the Stadia uh, exclusivity, right? Like, they, Stadia paid for the game to be made. So that's... Uh, that's kind of what happened there. Are any of those rifts actually in where we are? No, none of them are over here, so that doesn't matter at all. They're sweeping the kill zone! Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make it past this fucking death loop. I mean, would you wanna try to get through this? I would. Two's on, two is not on Xbox. No, it is not. It's only on PC. It's, it's locked to PC. Otherwise, I'd own it and do a video on it. <laughs> the pretty lights. Like, look how crazy that. I don't know. How, does that look crazy to you guys? Because like these, these light things, this looks like some kind of scary, like Resident Evil kind of trap cluster. Fuck. I have eight thousand points. I'm like overly confident. I guess I could put some archers in. Where did I get attacked from? The fuck was? Where was that from? Oh my god, did they destroy some barricades? Are they actually getting through the kill zone? It's those fire guys, uh oh.
Do they have any? That seemed unnecessarily violent. Clean up on all five. Orcs be dying. No chance of that. Yeah, they don't stand a fucking chance in hell of getting through this. I'm almost feeling cocky enough to set up another kill area somewhere. I guess I could set up like a thing here that just like launches them off the map. They're so good views, I love it. I bet this kills like a hundred gazillion orcs. Kick an ass here. Hmm. Manor Lords is the most wishlisted game on Steam. I mean it looks really cool. Orcs must die with two is cool. Great Briala was cool, fun to play. That's what I'm saying, is I really like the connection between the two characters. I'm also trying to keep the connection between the two characters a bit spoiler free in case people do play it and they want to engage in the story. But uh yeah, no, I like the co-op side of things. I just Yeah, I wish it was on Xbox or something or we had an excuse to sit there and play Orcs Must Die too. Maybe someday I will find the love of my life and we'll sit there and do cooperative Orcs Must Die someday. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but that'd be kinda of fun. Yeah, a lot. Um, like I said, there's there's been a few asks about Manor Lords and stuff. It's you know definitely something I've heard. Believe it or not, I I do like read comments and other things people leave, and I kind of go okay, this or that, or just see what people are interested in. Is there a weird way to kill these guys faster? Because there's like a lot of enemies out here, but like. You know, they're just kind of not dying. And this is the last wave, so these are all the guys that are left. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh yeah, they accidentally get sent over here. I totally forgot about that, because I'm like, I should just plop up a bunch of archers here to just, like, cut down on the enemies. Whoa! I guess bigger really is better. I'm like, you know. He actually destroyed that barricade? That's funny. So I'm just like, this might cut down on the enemies a little faster, having all these archers here, right? I'm not worried about any of the enemies getting through. The kill zone will freaking kill all of them. Stadia? Stadia was a really good idea. They just didn't... <sighs> The Google is very... They're, they're kind of like a worse version of Microsoft in terms of being short-sighted, if that makes sense. Like, they they want an immediate return on investment. I don't think they realize that gaming is like super expensive and hard to get into, and it takes years to make an impact or you have to buy companies. I think they said their big thing was seeing Microsoft buy Bethesda. They kind of like made it too hard for them to compete, but Stadia really was a great service. Like I still think the tech is better than what Xbox has with the cloud gaming. Chain lightning, broadsword damage, reduce mana cost of all weapons. That actually sounds the most useful. Yeah. The abandoned passage. What the hell level is that? Greatly increase all orcs damage, significantly reduce barricade health. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, let's do this one. The Abandoned Passage. What's a Stadia? Uh, people will be that. Like, Stadia I don't think had any long-lasting cultural impact or anything, so I'm sure it'll vanish That's pretty right. quickly. Oh, this a is the one with the fucking floating creatures. I hate this level. Mm hmm. Okay, so they can't jump across. 
So it's only enemies flying in here that are a problem. Okay, so we gotta create a bit of a death zone in this area, and then we just have to worry about flying things? What kills the flying things? The archers? Oh no, this stuff, the ballista stuff, right? Like, we just have to have ballista stuff, I guess. I think. I remember this level being like a bit of a pain in the ass. I should have somebody to do this for. Me. But like it's the same thing. Like I think a lot of people Found a good spot. if you ask them would know what on live is. Up. Actually, Works do any of you guys know what on live is? That was like a stadia thing, but ten years before that. Really neat idea. Yeah. Pretty cool idea. At least I think so. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they don't do crazier fantasy settings in this game. Like, this series is so primed for, like, wild fantasy stuff. I think if they do a third one, though, they'd have to come up with more, uh... I don't know what you would call it. They'd have to come up with another faction, I think, other than just orcs and stuff. It'd have to be like a third wearing faction. Okay, so are my... my air defense things are not doing fuck all against these. There's three of you! We're on the first wave! You should not be... oh god, that's a lot of enemies getting in here. I put three of those up and I didn't kill like any of them. Yeah, I forgot these guys have more health, too. I know there's enemies in the rift room. Crap. Well, that didn't go over very well. Well, where else would flyers be other than in the air? Like, they just don't care. This attack courtesy of me. Be right back. <laughs> he just landed inside. In the rift. Uh. I think I'm going to lose. Well, there goes that achievement. Obviously done a terrible setup here on this level because I am failing miserably. They do also have multiple amplifiers that make them a lot tougher to kill. So I guess that makes sense. Holy. If some of you auto sentries could like kill virtually any of them, that would be so helpful to me. Flyers incoming! Look out, flyers! Enemies at the rift. I'm gonna need more co- Oh, come on! Come on! Just a momentary pause for the cause. Not feeling so hot. More enemies in the rift. Now that's cheating. I think we're gonna lose. Yeah, I think Google, they just didn't, uh, they didn't plan for it to be a long-term thing. I think they thought they could come into, like, that type of, like, like, Google's in the gaming industry. They have Google Play, right? Like, they do Android. 
And it's like, if anything, that should have primed them to understand the expensiveness of, you know, gaming and that. But I think what Google thought they could do was just be like, we're Google, we're a big tech company, we can just step into gaming and just dominate, and that's not really how it works. I mean, like, once upon a time, when you could pump games out, you know what I mean? Like, back in the day, you used to be able to make games a lot faster, you know? You do a whole trilogy in a couple of years and stuff, you know, like, once upon a time, yeah, you could probably come into the gaming industry all nonchalant and stuff. Even then it was hard, but nowadays it's, like, nigh impossible unless you have, like, own stuff and there's like there's not a lot of companies that you can like buy into anymore right most are bought by larger companies or have portions owned it's hard to establish new platforming gaming that's not like pc right like not a pc market even a new pc marketplace is incredibly hard to establish as epic has learned so yeah it's, it's a pretty well saturated matured market you'd have to come out with something incredibly crazy like you'd basically have to make like, get lots of studios hired to make games, and then stockpile games for, like, a decade, and then, like, mass-release them to launch a new platform nowadays. And they'd have to all be pretty freaking good games. And even then, people might just wait. Like, it's just counterproductive to the, the model of gaming to actually even be able to accomplish that kind of thing. Ugh, okay. Oh, I don't even get, like, a break? You gotta be kidding me. I know there's flyers in the air. What is the point of these aerial defense things if they don't kill anything? I'm giving her my all out here. Cloud Room is best room? That's my friend. Did we ever figure out where that vampire saying was from? What stream was that that we were doing where the vampire thing came out? Or came up? I was like, what is that from where you took the vampire and it's like. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as they say that, that is the turning point, is, is when you stop doing exclusives for your platform, that's when it's over. Some people are really stubborn about it, but like the moment Stadia said that they were done having first party was the moment I was like, okay, they're they're dropping out. I mean, they lasted like a couple years, but like that was kind of the big moment where I was like, okay, Google's not gonna be in gaming much longer. Uh, or that type of gaming. I can't kill these enemies and the flying enemies. Fucking these hell bats, dude. Well, I'm trying my best out here. Which barricade's down? Oh no. Which barricade has fallen? Oh, we did it. Okay, that was hardcore. Sega should make a comeback. Yeah, with their rebooted uh, lineup of mega games. I don't know how well that's gonna go, honestly. Reduce cooldown of wall traps by half? Or double the damage my crossbow? I'm gonna go for double crossbow damage. Because <laughs> they are doing that big initiative where they're gonna... I'll add a mongrel every wave. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, they're doing the big Saga initiative. Should we try to reroll? Should we see if we can reroll one of these? Increase all orc damage. Add a mongrel to every wave. Increase all enemies damage. Should we try rerolling the add the mongrel? 
increased mana cost of all weapons. Fuck, I just have this thing that reduces the cost of all mana weapons. I guess that... I guess that sort of crosses it out? Google did, didn't give a chance. I think Google, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure Google was like, oh, we can come in, we can dominate, and then, you know, we'll make tons of money really fast. And as soon as they saw it was going to be difficult, they're like, nope. I think that's what happened. But yeah, they never really gave it a chance. Hmm. But you should give the stream a chance. Where you like it. Subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member, channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. Also an Amazon Starfleet link. I mean, you know, Amazon, use the link in the video description. Fuck, this level is hard. I remember streaming this in 2021, and fuck, this level is hard. This is... A very, very difficult map to play. Because they come from both sides, and there's no... I can't make a specific kill zone, because I can't block them going one way. They literally have to go both ways, right? Yeah, this, this level is, like, nigh impossible. I've only got 32 lives left. Does this go all the way down? Oh, hell yeah, it does. Hmm. What do we do? Do we do it like this, where it's like... Bzzz? I don't remember how we did this. Where it kind of like cuts both ways and then we add to it over time. I should have somebody to do this for. I think this is why we literally have the lasers is to kill these bug things. If I'm not mistaken. Found a good spot. All right, let's let's see how she goes. Let's, let's see what the lasers do. This level seems very complex. It It's a pain in my ass. I look like, like, like I said, we streamed this when it came out to Xbox, like in 2021. I remember losing my mind doing this level because it's so difficult. It's the flying things that kill you. That other level is harder though. There was like, you, I had the option between two levels before we did this. The other level is like, probably nine times harder than this one. And this one is really difficult. Too bad we didn't get to do that mega awesome level. There's a huge one that I really, really like. And it's difficult. Okay, so there's a second green grade. What, what gate are they coming out of? Oh no, those are the teleporting ones. Yeah, but I think that's why we have so many, like, laser things, is to deal with the flyers, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, eight waves, too. Ugh. I think it gets more ridiculous too, like I think this is kind of like an easy part where there's like not many of them and it just gets bad. Spawns a bunch of orcs near my portal? Great. Does it really? I never remember. Yeah. Does it really spawn a bunch of orcs near my portal on this level? I thought that was a different map where it does that. 
I know they're coming through the side. I'm not gonna be even prepared for that. I'm gonna get like totally just More swept here, I feel. Flyers incoming. Enemies watch out. Our enemies have broken through again. That works. Here they come. It's just so pretty. Enemies at the rift. Yeah, because I think most of my game is literally just like killing these flying things, and they shoot ice stuff so that you can't move, and that's how they get you. Fuck right off. That which doesn't kill me makes me. And the runners are getting it. They come from that side too. I thought it was only the one side this time. They come through. Oh, that's where they come from. Oh, I'm so screwed. I thought, didn't they set up a good barrier thing there? Like, good kill zone? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that wasn't a good kill zone. I lost. This is a brutal defeat after doing five rounds of this, eh? Brutal defeat. Yeah, I thought I had a decent kill zone. I guess I was wrong. Okay, so obviously the lasers are not enough. Flyers in the air. Flyers in the air. It's goddamn Philadelphia Flyers. Monsters, I say. So they're gonna come through that way again? Oh my god, man. Because I don't really have the currency to kind of like stop these guys. Well, I'm trying my best out here. Only got 14 points left. These fat flying sons of a. Well, I'm trying my best. This never gets old. My crossbow even does increase damage, which isn't helping me. So I only got 10 left, and I'm on wave 4 of 8. And they haven't even started coming out the other side yet. Do they have any bigger ones? So now they're gonna start coming out this side. Is there at least, like, there's no kill zone I can really set up here, is there? Just in this area? <sighs> Alright, let's do it. A kill zone? I don't think we'll ever see a kill zone again. I didn't lose your likes? Yeah, I guess there's that. It would have been nice to get that 70 gamer score for not failing miserably on this level, but you know, it happens. That was me that did that thing there. Ooh, there. I need more mana. Cause like barricades are supposed to slow me down or slow them down, but like it's just there's too many of them. This is a very sloppy defense that I'm doing. I'd love to, but enemies have stopped them quickly. Oh, I'm giving her all she's got out here. Not even close. So no lack of effort, that's for sure. Out. 
Okay, so the next wave. Tiptoe through the trap field. More enemies on the way. Alright, so that side's not working. This side's not working. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so they're not flying this time, they're just going this way, okay. So it's just an enemy ground it? attack wave. Alright. Let's go around this way and see what we can do. If I would have played Brotato, goddammit. Easy if you play co-op. I don't know if playing co-op makes this easier. I think they scale it a bit, don't they? can't remember the effect of that, but I find co-ops harder too because of like trap placement, unless you're actually like talking to each other, it's like, you know, it's a lot of like, oh, I don't want that trap there, or this, oh, this trap should have went here, and it's, a lot of that happens in this game. Okay, they're literally locking in like it's nothing on the side. Yeah, my traps are so badly done on this one. Fucking nulls. Is that it? No chance of that. There are enemies that all rip through. Hold the line. All rift uh, is fading forever. Okay, now we're, they're coming from all three sides this time. Okay. More enemies on the way. So the defense here is not slowing them down at all. Which is not great. And that side's. I've only got two things left. The needler traps don't do anything. Yeah, they do. They usually do. I don't think I have arcane damage off, do I? I don't think I have that difficulty thing, so the spike traps with the arcane should be doing quite a bit of damage. Enemies at the rift! For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. How are they at the rift room? Come on, aerial things, you gotta do some damage for me. Man, it sucks to get this close to winning and being like a failure. I just fuck. Uh, that was the last one I needed to win too for that achievement. Uh, that sucks. I was so close. Uh, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, complete tier five in Scrabble. That was the that was the last level I needed. I was only like two things away. Oh man. That's rough. Anyways, that's it for the stream, guys. I hope you have fun and enjoyed killing orcs. Uh, we killed a lot of orcs today, and you know, orcs, they they must die. It's as simple as that, and I think we did a little bit of that today, so hope you enjoyed.